Hello, Hello, folks. Hey! 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 Oh, there we are. Hey! <laughs> so I, I guess I guess we're all assassins now. Which yeah. One of us is Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, that was a good movie. Uh, yeah. Good, bad movie. Yeah. I hate that. I love that movie. Hated that movie. Which wanted? 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 wanted. wanted. Yeah. Luma Fate. Oh, I love Luma oh, Fate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm curving bullets left and right. No. All right. And taking weird wax bags. Real quick, let's go around and introduce everyone and your characters for those who might be new in the chat, and we'll probably do this again at some point. But I am Jr., your dungeon master, and the world itself. Uh, joining us, we have... Hi, I'm Abe, and I play the um, Goliath wizard, Barnabas Annabelle Goodfellow, Hawthorne Merriweather Jr. of the South Market Merriweathers, also known as Watermead's Children. Uh, some know me as Bags, Friend to Golems, Protector of the Configuration of Souls, Fisher <laughs> of Men, and Shadow's Loom. And uh, what are you? I'm a Goliath wizard. All right. Raised by no. This is so true. Fun. And I am Frank, and I will be playing the part of Raven Sheppner, who happens to be a uh, gnome ranger. That's a short name. Yeah, yeah I know. Start. We gotta start adding stuff to his name. We do got to add Raven Shepner, incompetent ranger. Incompetent, <laughs> incompetent, <laughs> incompetent also, ranger. Also known as Squirrel Friend. <laughs> and confuser <laughs> confuser of got. squirrels. <laughs> uh, father of uh, a, a griffin. <laughs> Ruiner of schemes. Ruiner of schemes, <laughs> impulsive, crazy man. Uh, go yeah. ahead and tell us about your friend there. Uh, this is uh, Garbanzo, and as we did have recently discovered, he is a uh, rather young uh, griffin that I accidentally befriended thinking it was a squirrel. A flying squirrel. A flying squirrel, oh, mind you. I fair. could figure that, or Sheppin could figure that part out. But it turns out, no, mm -hmm. he's a griffin. Which has helped us a lot in some battles. Yep. It's, it's kind of not vicious. Entirely false. Yeah. He's, one dumb, of the, he's one of the three competent people. Done, <laughs> more, done more damage than <laughs> And I would like to put out Garbanzo out of the three, out of the four characters that we'll be playing today. He's probably the, the third most competent, and then comes then comes the gnome. Uh -huh. so. uh, <laughs> and then finally. I am Lux. I am playing uh, Alamar Velcro, the half elf warlock. Uh, I lost my cigarettes, so. Um, I'm gonna be murdering, I think. <laughs> um, or at least tense. Perfect. Um, and yeah, there's no one here to tell me not to. <laughs> uh, which brings us to our, our uh, absent fourth. Uh, Matt is dead to us, uh, because yeah. he's not here. He's on vacation, uh, visiting his, his family in Atlantic City, I do believe. Um, that sounds like a fishy story. So, uh, today we'll see what everyone gets up to. Shoot me. We'll see what everyone gets up to when they're not. He can't, and you're the only other guy who can shoot him. Hampered by Matt's character's pacifism. Uh, and of course, <clears throat> on the stream, subbing in for Jen, who's usually behind everything, we've got uh, Mars. So, thanks for having uh, us. Uh, and now, uh, just to recap, uh, last time you guys joined the wealthy Lord Harrowmont after a very successful and the first ever Fishmas, where you caused the miracle of Fishmas by spreading sun perch throughout the town of Winter's Haven. Um, you joined Lord Harrowmont for a vacation to the Ice Falls, which were incredibly beautiful, but there you were ambushed by cultists. Uh, and that proved to be a mistake on their part because you quickly turned the tables and have ambushed them. You befriended a <coughs> a uh, large red setter known as 
Gary, uh, a dog who hacked up a ruby. Um, and right. you guys... With, like, coughs it up, not yes. chops it up. Uh, I would be really scared of this dog. No, <laughs> either, either way. <laughs> and uh, uh, you guys are uh, laying in wait for the rest of the cultists of the Emerald Eye to return. Uh, Lord Harrowmont has his hunting crossbow ready, and you guys are just kind of hanging out. So we're the parent just left, huh? It's right. weird. I think uh, probably he got drunk and passed out. Yes. Uh, Al- 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 Alvarius? Yes, Alvarius. Alvarius your, uh, bartender. your bartender. My bartender. Your personal, <laughs> My personal bartender. personal bartender. Well, who is, he is hanging out, mixing drinks for everyone, and Perrin is kind of uh, uh, snoozing gracefully in the corner. Hey, guys, Sorry. guys. Uh, Perrin totally left with, like, three people, and they were all hugging each other. I think they're going to go hunting snipes. Well, <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> well, that's his choice, who he hunts with. I guess well, Passes out drunk with in the corner. Nothing, you know, whatever. <laughs> nothing unusual about that. Nope. Um, moving so, on. <laughs> moving on, let's get ready to murder. Um, I'm okay with that. So, <laughs> right now we're just like waiting out these... Yes. Uh, and the, like, what's... Tell me more about this dog. I still right. don't really trust this dog. So this dog is incredibly friendly and seems very energetic. Um, it uh, looks like it's a bit uh, skinny, like it hasn't eaten well in the last few days, but it is incredibly happy to see you guys. And uh, was, uh, I guess the other point I should make, was was uh, provided at the suggestion of Isendar, who yeah, hangs I've... out in the chat and may be there now. Um, still <clears> waiting for the other pizza box to drop. If any of you folks watching exactly along so. at home would like to, to uh, put your own touch in the game, feel free to, to let your influence be known. Say something in chat, donate some bits, and we'll be happy to incorporate it and mess with these guys as they try their best. Something bad's going to happen with this dog because no one can chatter is anything nice. <laughs> That's not true. Maybe they just want us to have a friendly dog. Maybe Isidar is like, I really want to have a friendly dog. All right. Maybe. Maybe hey, Isendar is so impressed by my 40k playing that he wants me to have a friendly dog. I, like, I, I hope they get a friendly dog. I, I want to pay a whole Gary. pizza for it. <laughs> Gary is awesome. Ugh. Gary okay. wags his tail and drools. See? Yeah. Gary is awesome. <laughs> it's not surprising that the dog likes being told that it's a good dog. <laughs> Gary, Gary like, rolls is an over awesome his, dog. His belly and, and, you gotta and, go bigger and, than good, know. man. I think it's just a mind game. Maybe Gary Gary is just mind games. Maybe there's yeah. nothing bad. Okay, yeah, sure. And I should just see if we'll kill a doll. So it's I'm all gonna... like some weird <laughs> psychological <laughs> experiment. Oh, so, like in Saw 9. <laughs> yeah, like, will we just murder an innocent <laughs> yeah. doll? Honestly, I might. Saw 9. We ran I... out of ideas. I guess they're going to kill a dog, maybe. There's a Saw 9 actually coming out. <laughs> oh, is there really? Did you know that this came out with the fifth Sharknado movie? Whoa, I didn't even Did know you that know? fourth Sharknado movie. Right. Did you know that there are, like, 14 Airbud movies. I did. Oh, yeah. know, I did yeah. know that the fish shark data surprised me because I heard a lot about it. The first one, obviously, and yeah. then like the second one. And then apparently the fifth one has revitalized the Sharknado franchise after three and four were yeah, not good. Three kind of fell off. So uh, I well, was very surprised. Uh, speaking of surprise, yes. uh, go ahead and give me some perception checks. Oh, and it begins. Isendar has a retort. He said, "That's right, Egg. You're all guinea pigs in my diabolical oh. experiment." Yay! <laughs> I have a nineteen perception. A nineteen. Sorry, an perception. eighteen perception. Eighteen right. plus. Oh, I'm looking at this. seven. I'm looking at Gary's character sheet. And I'm, I'm like, telling you, that it. would be the cruelest thing to do. Is just have this like be like I put a lot of effort into giving you this dog, and then it just be the most it's normal just dog. A normal it's just dog. a normal dog. <laughs> uh, uh, I have a seven. He has an eighteen. You have an eighteen. Eighteen. You you two here. You're still obviously. Puzzles about the dog, but you hear the after about four or five hours, you hear the telltale sounds of footsteps and voices. Uh, um, um, they, they sound to be in conversation with themselves. I have a quick question to ask. Yes, because apparently we're laying an ambush for these guys. Did we think to remove the guy that Lord Harrowmont had pinned to the outside of the uh, cave, or is there still a? I leave that to you. <laughs> There's still a cultist pinned to the outside of the cave. <laughs> um, I assume. I know. We were, I know. I, I didn't you take him down, down because he was way up too high. Really? I, mean, I leave I'm, that to you. <laughs> yeah, Bags. That's even a that, you that, choice. That's a you call. Uh, I'll say that since we were planning to lay, it, like we were planning to lay and wait for them yes. and surprise them that we took him down because we have we not like claim this as our own and leaving warnings. Yeah. 
Um, which seems more like a parent thing. I don't know. Yeah. Right? Murdering people and yeah. pitting them to the outside of the parent. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like it too, but it's okay. No, no. Parent is, is, uh, has returned from his snipe hunt and is passed out again. Uh, and uh, uh, Harrowmont has uh, taken to some rather interesting artwork. Actually, you know what? We leave him on the outside. Yeah, All right. Freak him out. And pushing is not a very fair thing. And weird them out. There's going to be out there to be like, what's up with our friend? This is going to be In a- fact, <laughs> you hear, what's going on? Is that our, our friend? It is your friend, oh, foul fiends. Yeah. Who goes there? It's I, Barnabas, Annabelle, Goldfellow, Hawthorne, Merriweather, Jr. Before you finish the shoot, watch bolt out the door and the voices. <laughs> All right, roll for initiative. <laughs> It's too far away. I want the visual of him reciting his name and then the laser bolt going by. <laughs> 20. 19. <laughs> three. I'm, uh, I'm reciting my name. <laughs> He's reciting his name. All right. Uh, so uh, uh, you're up first, Ravener, with, uh, with the... Uh, so there's a group of people? There's a group of people. They that we know standing. nothing about. Well, you know they're members of the Emerald Eye Cult. Do we know that? Well, they said I don't guys, care. They said he did say, what happened to our friend? Oh, yeah. right. He was a member of the cult. And they are coming to the secret, and they they are unusual, secret cult spot. And it's unusual for cult members to have friends outside of the cult. It's true. It's true. That's sort of the whole point. That's sort of the whole point. Yeah. Is, yeah. Okay, okay. So, I would like to launch Magic Missile at the Darkness, but since I'm not a wizard, a ranger. I am going to shoot an arrow at one of the people. All right. Multi-class. Make an attack roll. Not a very good one. Seven. What do you get total? Twelve. Twelve. No, that's not going to do it. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> oh, wait. Garbanzo. 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 Jumps out of the door. 18. <laughs> so Throwing an 18. He does. Plus, so all right. Useful. Got anybody hits. with the AC higher than <clears> that? <throat> oh, yeah. He oh, really? There he are, there are yeah, four uh, four guys out there. So, what? which, which of his weapons there, is that? Yeah. Well, oh, that's going to be his... Uh, this is going to be a 1d8. That's going to be his beak to start with. You you announced there. Good. That was the surprise round. Good. It was the who goes there? <laughs> I'm glad that we have a fair fight on our hands. I am not. May I please? Thank you. <clears throat> Eight. Ouch. Plus one is nine. All right, nine. And then he we'll swipes. You're attacking with, the closest one. He swipes with his claws next. Uh oh. Oh, that's probably a mess. It's a three. All right. Yeah. Um, J- uh, yes. I have a question. Uh, two yeah. questions. Two questions. Ooh, well, maybe just one. Okay. Um, Ask away. How wide is the doorway to the chamber to the place we're in? Uh, it's about seven feet wide-ish, five mostly, but it kind of is a little wider because it's the mouth of a cave. Okay, so like basically five feet, but there's like a curve. It's like yeah. five feet on the ground, but seven feet at its widest point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. I, I cast a cloud of daggers. All right. In the doorway. <coughs> it's a five foot by five foot cube. Oh, that's right. Well, now you gotta use some magic. But I don't. I don't Magic. <laughs> You're <laughs> fine. Well, no, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's a good Do call. It. It's a good that's call. It's a good strategic. Yeah, thing. I have cloud of daggers that door. All right. You cloud um, of is daggers there, that door. Hmm? Do you players have a good here and right down? Uh, we do. Damage for Let me hand the sea of D. I'm gonna break the illusion. Da, 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 or not? Da, da. <laughs> I just came out of air. <laughs> All right. Who knows? Uh, I, didn't want to throw, I didn't want to throw the book at you, but um, oh, <clears throat> good. I'm glad you're a kind and noble what, judge. Uh, so you cast that. No one is in it at the moment, but they will have to go through it in order to get to it. Yeah, or else I'll just <clears throat> them up. Uh, you can see four figures from uh, <clears throat> at the at the cave cave mouth. Um, they two of them are in robes. One is in very fine breastplate armor. Mm. And <clears throat> one is in uh, leather armor and a cloak. Mm. Uh, it's their turn. It is their turn. You fiends! You've murdered a, a, an innocent man! We did. Doubt it! Doubtful! <laughs> You'll pay for that! Of the South Market, Barry <laughs> Weathers! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, one, of the, one of the men in robes steps up to the edge of that that cloud of knives and daggers. cloud of daggers and yeah. waves Slightly a hand it. shooting a bolt of brilliant light towards uh, you. 
Um, <coughs> brand nerd. Blinded yeah, by the do. light. Oh. oh dear, hold on. Let me make sure that I'm doing this spell right, because if I am, I may have just crit you. Um, <coughs> Don't crit him. Why not? Because we just started. So? God. Well, I mean, what's wrong uh, I need with... to get rid of the... Do, I still, do you still have the temporary help we got from Perrin? We, we do. do. It lasts oh, we do? Right. I just deleted yeah. it. Oops. No, it lasts... Was it eight? It was eight. Yeah, it was eight. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This is gonna be bad, bad times. Guys, in the restaurant in ten bits for some more gnome singing, please. All right. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna sing some. Yeah. All right. Shorty going well, down. Well, that could be. Town. Shorty going up. Town. Uh, <laughs> Shorty going all around. Yeah, we be gnomes. Yeah. You got a uh, crit. You take. Hit. You take uh, seventeen points of damage. Oh. Um. Sure. I eat that, and then I like look at him, and I was like. <laughs> Whatever. <dude. laughs> what? Uh, and you are outlined with a nimbus of eerie oh, eldritch light. You've been guided, yo. He says, "Fools, kill them." Do you guys? Do you have? A, I don't have a pen. So, uh, a pen? Not gonna do it this time. <laughs> oh. A pencil. There are, there are some that we can provide for you. you just throw it. I got yeah. such catch skills. It's crazy. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it's crazy. I'll I fucked somebody's eye out. I apologize. Landed perfectly. Ow! <laughs> My spleen! We're good. All right. <laughs> this is uh, 17. Was it 17 or 14? 17. 17. 17 points of damage. Okay, so I'm down to 14. It scared the crap out of me. And it's your uh, there is one more person who is casting a spell <laughs> inside, uh, uh, near you, uh, Bags, as you're reciting your name. A, a shimmering, uh, glowing... Curved dagger appears in the air, and it swings at you. What are these children? <laughs> uh, what's your armor class? Uh, currently it's nine hundred. Currently it is fifteen. All right, I have hit you with fifteen. You do not hit me. Oh no! I tap on my mental forward at you and warp magic around me to deflect the shot. Oh man! Cool. I, wish I could do that. <laughs> I know, right? Um, I can really get cat's cantrips on my next turn. And then uh, you see one of them get just like grit their teeth and walk through the cloud. What does that do? Boom, 44 damage. Ooh. 44, 4, 4, not 44. Okay. No, it does 44 damage. I heard him say that. I am. Ouch, nine. nine. Ten. Ten. Ooh. Damn. You see them like try and run through, but they come come through lacerated by your cloud of daggers. Um, I like the cloud of daggers that lacerate. Yeah, dude, that's the whole point. They rush in and... That's why I do this, dude. Try, try to stab you. Me? Uh, yeah. Uh, you cast a spell. They don't stab you, though. Uh, <clears throat> all right. And then the last guy... Does he have a ranged weapon? Nope, he doesn't. All right, roll out again. Uh, seven... Eight. He's coming for Ravener. Yeah, bring it. Nope. I'm uh, not bringing it today. Failed to bring it. Goliath is Failed to bring it. It wasn't even brought. You haven't done You're haven't still done talking. Return to Sander. Uh, Wait, so we get to you. Uh, what about, about Lord Harrimont? Uh, oh, Lord, Lord Harrimont is crossbow. going after you. Right. Oh, man. So on my turn. What a slow dude. Water meets children. Known as Bags. Friend to Golems. Protector of the... <laughs> A configuration of souls, <laughs> fisher God. of men, shadows loom. <laughs> oh, um, oh. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna hit something. <laughs> and I'll wind up with my uh, with my heavy shovel, heavy shovel, and I'll run over to the guy uh, who's who's attacking. Um, I'll run over to the armored guy, right? That's the one attacking. Attacking uh, Alamar. Alamar. Get off my friend, fiend! Well, get off my acquaintance, fiend! I appreciate that correction. <laughs> oh, smack of a good one. All right. He's only really my friend. We, we, we Ravener? He <laughs> words my mouth. Uh, well, in that case, he's still a half. What is his armor class? Uh, his armor class is 15. Oh. Well, just hit. All right. Um, uh... I'll smack him while we roll those. All and, right. And why? <laughs> yes. Oh, so I am also a fighter, so I have uh, the Great Weapon Mastery since I'm using this two-handed. I get to re-roll once. Oh. Two of damage. Perfect. That's cool. 
Oh, no. So I'll hit him for 10 points of damage. And that was the one that took 10. Uh, ten. ten. So down he goes Wong. with a uh, uh, resounding Another one mats the dust. <laughs> Another one mats the dust. <clears throat> Another one mats the dust. Uh, and then Lord Harriman fires his ridiculous crossbow. Wong. Uh At the guy inside. Okay. The guy inside. The yeah. one who's attacking you. The one who's attacking you. Oh, whatever. Uh, Can't catch me. Dun, he dun, is dun, pinned dun. to the wall. Oh. With bite. In, a, in a dead way? Yeah, in a dead way. I love how he pins dead bodies to the I wall. I feel like we're redecorating this place with very interesting decor. <laughs> I like it. Uh, it fits my mood. You you know what? We're just gonna go. Nope. Says one of them as it gets back to be your turn, Elmar. No, it's his turn first. Oh, yeah, it's Ravener's turn first. There's a guy that wants to flee. Is he the Pashi dude in the, in the armor? No, they're both dead. Is it? Is they're it, all on the other side of the cloud of daggers. They're uh, they're both in robes. No survivors. What well, about, too I bad. Mean, too bad. One of our bard. Says Harold We we can survive, can't we? We're victors, not survivors. Oh, okay. Thirteen plus five, eighteen. We will do more than mere survivors. Uh, eighteen. Uh, will hit. Excellent longbow. I need a D eight again. Seven Damage. plus two is ten. All right. Nine, plus two is nine. All yes. right. He is hurt, but I'm a gnome. I'm not good with math. Does not seem to care about it as much as his dead friends. Mm. Well, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And then a garbanzo jumps at him. That's gonna hit. That's gonna hit. Fifteen okay. plus six. Yep, that'll do it. And then garbanzo does a slashy slash. No. A beaky beak. Eight. Seven plus. One? Yeah, that eight. Huh? Yeah, it's a 15. Seven's one's the damage. Oh, seven. On, oh, 15 oh. plus six. Okay. He's hurt. Okay. And then he's going to... Then, then he's going to now swipe with his back. claws. 17 That'll plus hit. six. Also hit. And then that is a D6. I need a six. Thank you very much. Well, three, three, plus six. Two, so three plus two... Three plus one is four more. Four more. All right. He is hurt. Is he, like, really hurt? All right. Cool. Wow. Um, I mean, between Garbanzo and I, we took out like a level two character. Like he's not dead. He's just he was like, is he really hurt? And he went, I know. That's why I'm like, wow. But you didn't. Okay. Alamari. I up. mean, if he's like a level four character, you know, took out half like, of he's like at this point. That's you know, like, like taking out a level. Like two wow. Character. He's I kind guess. of huge. You know. Um, what level is he? <laughs> like oh, fifteen. Oh, that's a mistake. <laughs> yeah. He's a demigod. He is. I mean, he is the fourth level character. I say. Eat this, dick bag. What? And then I roll a quick eleven and <laughs> shoot a laser into the wall. <laughs> you did shoot a laser. Why into do you the not wall? like walls? Childhood things. Don't <laughs> worry about it. Sorry, <laughs> it was kept in a small room. Uh, <clears throat> are you gonna keep the cloud of daggers up? Or is the cloud of daggers still there? Do you want me to get rid of it real bad? All right, I don't feel like they're gonna charge in if they're both casters. All right, then I snap my fingers and the cloud of daggers disappears. Nope. Uh, okay. Uh, yep. Uh. Balls, says the one that you just shot at, and he warning shot nerd running. Uh, and the uh, dagger attacks you with a twenty-two. A dagger? All right. He has a floating, yeah, dagger, has a floating dagger. dagger. You take um, four points. Uh, don't worry, he's oh, gonna damage. do something else to make sure nothing four? happens. Just four. I'll take it. Never mind. Right. I'll take it on that. I'll take it on those, those uh, temporary hit points I got. I'll deign to deal with this four <laughs> damage. Fine. It's not worth it. It's not <laughs> worth it. It's not worth it. Worth it. it. Oh, that'll, that'll, that'll go to those temporary. I mean, I'm not bleeding yet. Yeah. So. No, not yet. The other one. In fact, uh, it really only hurt you in the I'm extra happy because Perrin looks at me real nice this morning. <laughs> I know, you know? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know about how much I like him, but I do like it when he looks at me happy in the morning. Yeah, no, it just <laughs> brightens my day. I know. The other one casts a uh, a spell as well, um, <clears throat> and is surrounded by some uh, shimmering lights that that coalesce into the shape of uh, a beautiful woman. No, I was I was gonna Seems say less lightly. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say. Uh, a, 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 a bunch of winged snakes with glowing emerald eyes. It's kind of like a one. Are they green snakes with green eyes? Yeah. Clashy. Yes. Right? Well, they're, yeah. Can you even see the eyes? You I know. can. They're two different colors Ooh. of green. Clashy. What? Right? Very, it's very clashy. I don't like it. And he runs away. 
surrounded by this nimbus of glowing snakes. Someone, someone's gonna think this is weird, man. <laughs> like, why are there glowing nimbi? Uh, and Dang that it. brings us to bags. How far away are they? Have you finished uh, saying your name? They're about sixty feet away. I don't think they heard your name. You should probably repeat it. No, no they're, they're, they heard they're it for like sure. They're, they haven't heard my name. They heard it. They heard it for sure. They heard it. I want them to reach wherever they're going and know who to tell everybody. How close are they? Fifty to, feet. To, to each other. Oh, to each other, about five or ten feet. You're a wizard. Do a wizard. I mean, I could run up to them, and then if they run away, I'll get attack opportunity. That's true. You could. You could try. This is what happens when your wizard games the game. Uh, I will run within. I'll I'll, I'll move up, Uh uh and then Uh I will uh, Uh raise my shovel on high. Uh Watch now as I smite them with my shovel, friends. And you got a magic missile. Ah, yep. At the hurt one. At the hurt one. Excellent. Good. Swing my shovel in the. Bolts of power. Unfortunately, they're wearing the emerald eyes. And it sucks up your magic missile. It absorbs their missile. That's fair. (laughs) That's fair. I forgot. Perhaps the injured one, as as, as he holds up his amulet (laughs) triumphantly, is pointing at it, flipping you guys off. (laughs) <laughs> what, are we wearing, that's my wearing, thing, you fucking wearing nerd. Her thing. Yeah, I am wearing So how does his thing change? Yeah, yeah, was that spell uh, that hit me before force damage, I wonder? Uh, it was not. It was oh. fire damage. Or that's, radiant damage. That's why. You see how he changed the rules. That wasn't changing the rules. That was no, it, following that's, the rules. I'm following the rules. I forgot. All right. Let's so, you're sowing discord. Bags, Bags' wisdom was not great on that. No, let's get radiant them. damage. Apparently, right. somebody didn't take a class and get a Haramont. diploma in common sense. Uh, Haramont reloads his crossbow clink, and clink, 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 fires. Clink, clink, clink. Oof! All right, he uh, doesn't pin the guy to the wall, but does like he does hit him, and he care like he notices that he's been like speared with this massive crossbow bolt. <laughs> is this the hurt one? <clears throat> Uh, yes, this is the hurt one. So how hurt is the hurt one? Uh, he's pretty hurt. Um, yeah, he's like, he, he seems sad about life in general, but he's not like... I'm getting his, scared of that. He's not slowing down. Well, let's finish him off, dude. Uh, oh. Haramont uh, runs up, like, slinging the crossbow and says, Ah, ha, 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 the most dangerous game! <laughs> Don't get to you. Yeah, it's one <laughs> Actually, maybe this is a new thing for you. That's Quickly, release the hound! Gary, track them down! We did, like... No. We, we're still, still seeing them. Yeah. We can still see them. It's so. all right, it's all right. It's all right. Let me get... All right. Very I'm going to shoot, shoot at the hurt one. All right. I just rolled a 15, so that's you a 20. You definitely hit. And I need a D8. Where is it? I can't see past this stupid thing in front of me. Four and two is six. Uh, that definitely hits and does some damage. It does six damage. He's sad about it. He okay, and Garbanzo healthy. leaps at Why is this dude's Gar- reaction to physical damage so emotionally Garbanzo <laughs> rolled a uh, 21. <laughs> All right, when he leaps at him, uh-huh. here is what happens. Okay. Uh, because he enters into the Nimbus in order to do this. The hurt one? Yes. Uh, they're, they're, they're both within this like aura of snakes. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 in the snake aura. His speed is halved. It doesn't matter. He gets there. Uh, however, he has to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Well, uh, the I feel DC. Like are smart. The DC for this is thirteen. Be a thirteen on wisdom, Jerry. Come on, wisdom. Boom. Fifteen. 15. You were like eight fifteens right. in a row. Give me right two of those D eights, please. Don't give it to him. If you don't give it to him, he can't do damage. Well, I know, right? No, if right? you don't give it to right? me, I'll just roll right? these d20s instead. Oh, okay, of here's an eight. <laughs> if we don't give it to him, we'll just do max. Hell, let's do max damage. Uh, you made your save, yes? Yes. So he takes five points of damage instead. Okay. Garbanzo takes five points of snake damage. Garbanzo doesn't even care. Five points of snake damage. Um, Sweet. All right. All right, so Garbanzo already is hitting, so we have to calculate hit and one of those eights back in. Thank you. Four. And down he goes. Yeah. Dun. Well, Dun. so Garbanzo can't use his second attack against a second target, right? It has to be the same one. Yeah, you can't can play. use it against no, the you second can. They're next yes. to each other. But that was his second attack. That was his first attack. Oh. No. But is he close huh? enough to move? He, well, with, with the slowed speed, he won't get close enough to... How far are they apart? 
They're like five to ten feet apart. Well, you already fly over there. Yeah, but he had to fly over there. And then get within. Within the speed I have. Yeah. How far were they? How far away were they? Fifty. Fifty feet? Okay. He's, um, at, he's out of steam. So, the, so one of them is down. One of them is down. Is that also the one that shot lasers at me? He's that, already down? That is not the one who, who you downed. Good. Yeah. That's um, the one who made the magic dagger that did nothing. I look at uh, the one that I obviously hate and make it very clear that I obviously hate him. And then roll a 17. That hits. <clears throat> and then I do... Are you beaming him? I'm beaming him. Beam, beam, beam. Hammer the worm. <laughs> and then... Hit him for seven damage. Ouch! All right, he is injured. Make that and reacts in a physical say. way instead of an emotional <laughs> way. Um, Does that mean he cried? No, he, the other one was just kept. Oh! Uh, when you hit him, the like as soon as you hit him, all the light is sucked back into his body and the snakes are gone. Hey, yeah, you dick. Because he failed his concentration save. Oh, nice. uh, okay. What an asshole. Um, Garbanzo licks his beak. He uh, starts cursing, and uh, his friend is dead, so he can't go. Um, My favorite part is this is the part where Perrin would be like, we should ask him if he wants to stop so we can talk to him, but Perrin's asleep, so I'm going to kill this asshole. <laughs> Perrin, Perrin is, in fact, muttering back in the... the well, he's like, we should you know, if we could convince him to join us, we would have another caster. <laughs> He did 17 points of damage to me. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Fair point. He Fair casts point. a spell and <laughs> oh, no. uh, uh, runs even further away. <laughs> oh, now he's out of my range. Well, I guess I can probably Yeah, you can, you can catch up to him pretty easily. I assume you move forward to keep shooting at him. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, all right. That brings us to... What spell is he cast? Uh, he cast the spell Sanctuary. So if you want to attack him, you have to make a Sanctuary. Sanctuary. Ugh. I know magic will one day fail me. It will always be taken away. That's why I've learned to rely on my personal strength, you know. That sometimes... Also, could you... Dude, huge. could you stop talking and kill him? Um, well, don't kill him. Almost kill him. I, I will run up to him and stand next to him. Mm-hmm. You cannot escape. There is no escape. Harrowmont... Reloads his crossbow and says, "Run, run! No, let him get away. We'll track him down with the hounds." We have one old. We dog just have that Gary needs- Harriman. <laughs> Still counts. <laughs> like technically, as a dog, sure. I'm, like look, I'm pretty sure Garbanzo can. Haven't you that. always wanted to hunt the most dangerous game? It's I... like Tuesday for us. Yeah, we've killed so many people. Yeah. Just, but have you hunted them? Sort of. Hmm. Are you going to be upset if I can <clears throat> I won't be upset, but I won't be uh, happy. <laughs> and he reloads his crossbow and runs. Um, all right. No escape. Uh, Ravener. Is he supposed to, like, scare him a little bit? I mean, I can't attack. I had to, I had to move <coughs> to get to him. Well. So yeah. all I can do is stand next to him and look threatening. That's fair. <laughs> how, how injured does he look? Uh, not very. Not very. Okay, then I will help him. Yeah, and I will, I will take another right. shot at him. Before that, you need to make a wisdom save. I do? Why? Do you see? Because he's cast Sanctuary. He has. Oh, fine. So. Well, that's not going to do it. That is not. You you cannot bring yourself to shoot him. Oh, hold on a He second. is protected by magic. You don't have a plus nine. Oh, no. I have advantage on wisdom saves. Oh, so what? Roll, uh, roll, 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 I'm, roll, I'm just going to roll one more. more. Okay. He does. No one's cunning. N- no one cunning. How that? 12 plus... What am I adding to this? Wisdom. Oh, wisdom is... Da, 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 three. That's uh, 15. Yeah, I'm okay. You can shoot him. His cutting... Yeah, cut. Cut. How is that even cutting? Like, yeah, you know, no. Like, cut. like, you know what? I actually do think I want to shoot you. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Uh, that's really to convince himself 13. That's not going to do it. Yeah, I miss. All right. I, I concentrated too much on wanting to hit him. <laughs> but just then... Just... Garbanzo you noticed what I was visualize. <laughs> you gotta visualize what you want in the world. And I, I visualized wanting to shoot him. That's and the then secret. Visualize yeah. shooting him, but not yeah. hitting him. All right. It's because uh, I aimed at the Garbanzo all of him and not make... just a point on mm-hmm. him. Garbanzo That's an archery needs to thing. make a saving throw. As okay, well. Garbanzo is gonna make a saving throw. I'm gonna say it's not gonna do it. I'm gonna get out of limits. Garbanzo doesn't have plus six, plus six? wisdom. Uh, he does actually. No, he has plus one. 
So he has eight. So Garbanzo's like, meh, thanks. Garbanzo's like, meh. Yeah, I'm furious. I still want to kill this man very badly. Make your saving throw. <laughs> Garbanzo is like, why don't you come hang out with me and eat some egg corns? For those of you who can't see, uh, Alomar has just rolled a one. I just, um, I just can't do it. I just can't so do it, man. You are, you are in fact too apoplectic with rage to shoot him. <laughs> I'm just too busy thinking of like exactly what I want it to look like when he dies. Uh, thank you very much. Uh oh. We'll oh, see what they say. Come this is on. It's a whole novel. <laughs> it's a 600 page book <laughs> that you just got handed. Uh, <clears throat> interesting. Interesting. It's the second chat. book in the first law like trilogy. This. I like this a lot. Um, who, Best served cold. Whose idea was this? That would be not so honest. Uh, excellent. You, I, 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 I respect this very, very much. Uh, don't uh, worry, we'll be getting to this shortly. I, like I hope that. it's a message that they paid for by sending us a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> or pizza. Nope. <laughs> pizza for uh, a distant uh, second. I don't think. I don't think that's it. Thing on treat stream. Well, Twitch. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, Twitch. Like, the meantime, we need death sticks. Uh, Change your policy. Uh, it's his turn. He runs away. Uh, Would you uh, kill him? Kill him. Double moves. You can make a saving throw. As he dashes. What is the DC? Thirteen. I make 14. it. All Thank right. you, bags. Now squash him. I'll smack him as he runs by. Where are you going? Away from you! Uh, what's his AC? His AC is 15. I hit him. Oh no. Hooray! Huzzah! I'm gonna roll that. So that would be 15 damage. <laughs> Ow! No escape! I'm escaping! Does, does he need to make a save for he uh, does. sanctuary? He keeps it up. No. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> and then he flips you off with both hands. Oh, I'm gonna oh. kill the shit out of this dude! Uh, and that brings us back to Ravener. What about Haramon? Ravener? Oh, Haramon. What about me? Oh, and Bax gets to go. You get to take your act. Well, I thought you were back. Too. You get to take no. That was, was, that that was, was my reaction. Hey, oh, 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 yeah. My dude. What I'll do you do, Bax? Wind up next to him again. All right. No escape, I said. <laughs> I jog next to him. Haramont. I'm very big. You can't get <laughs> faster than me. Haramont, uh, clearly uh, excited by the prospect of hunting down the most dangerous game, shoots you. Uh, yeah, he misses. Oh. But he doesn't hit bags, does he? He does not hit bags. <laughs> Don't good. worry, I have more boats where that came from. And yeah, I mean, I figured no <laughs> one's worried, dude. That brings us I was us a little worried. To well, the Ravener. He only has like 20. Oh yeah, I can use my cross. I have to do, I have to do my wisdom check yes. first. It's not a very good cross. Is it any better? No, you made your save, so no, you don't have to anymore. Actually. Oh, I don't? Anymore? Really? You wow. made your save, so... 16 plus 5. And I hit him. Yeah, that's that it. hits. And the 8. Why do they keep leaving? Oh. 3. 3. <laughs> Alright. Uh, that does some damage. 3. 3. He makes his concentration save. Uh. Okay, so that means... Um, we're going to see if he's interested now. So he still has to beat the wisdom check, right? Yeah. Mm. Nope. Garbanzo, you're doing really Garbanzo <laughs> is basically like, he doesn't care because I'm not getting attacked. I want he to burn. He looks incredibly hurt. I like want to burn a <laughs> hole in your head. <laughs> a single attack I say. probably take him down. Oh, I do the wisdom save, right? Yes. Okay. 15 plus 2 is 17. There you go. You get him. All right, please let me now, kill hit this him. man. Hit him. 14, 14 plus 4 is 18. There you go. And 9 plus 4 is yeah, 13. That, you, that does, does it. Down he goes. Burn a hole right through his head? Hole right through his head. Oh, As he, he falls over. I told you there was no escape. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I he like when like he just murders. He tumbles people. a good 20 feet more. Such I, like, him. I walk over to where like the smoke. <laughs> first, I like call for, what's his name, my bartender? Uh, Alvarius. Alvarius. And he knows what to do. And we walk over to this guy with the like, smoking hole in his head. And I just take one sip of my drink and then pour the rest into the hole <laughs> to end the smoking. Oh. And then kick his, like, broken oh. head. Yeah, okay. That sounds good. Um, yeah, right, some, goes. Uh, I threw up a little. Some anger issues some there. Anger issues. Uh, yes! <laughs> he shot me with a guiding bolt! Well, 
Apparently, you need cigarettes. You know, we should work out more in the morning. I think we could really develop a little more resistance there, if that's your worry. No, he... he th <clears throat> there's rules, and one rule is you do something that bothers me even a little bit, and then, barring intervention, I'll probably kill you. You know, I don't really see the appeal, having done this. Oh, you Maybe if I had my own island. Hmm. Uh-oh. Hmm. You know, really, I, I've I thought about it often, and it takes up too much of your time. Ah. There are better things to hunt. Like sailing. It's true. And you yes. can tend all those goats. Also, You're... he's not really that dangerous. No. Is he? It's not. Well, it's not actually the game that you have to worry about. It's all the low-level adventurers that yeah, show up to like stop to you. It seems like the most dangerous game might be like a dragon or something. Yes. Yeah, or like a demon. Or a yeah. devil. Yeah, no, there's like a lot more to this <laughs> yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. More like a weird, floaty, yeah. squishy mind. Thing. Honestly, those like screaming death monsters we fought in that bar. What was it? The void mouth. What was I'm really was excited. Like? Can I check their bodies? You went out the window and stabbed it a bunch. I know, it's more dangerous than this. Right I mean, now, can we check their bodies? I guess. Yes. yes. Yeah. You check their bodies. You drag their bodies back. You I'll allow Haramont back. to pin them up to the wall if he wants. I drag the one that I killed, and I do it like intentionally like hit every single obstacle on the way. Uh, you drag so them back. the time it gets there, it's like bruised and like broken and gross. Well, I don't think they bruise. Or do they? Or it's like, it's like just... Yeah, it's gross. Yeah, it's like a like a brute like brute the way like an apple would be. Yeah, uh, this is very petty. Yes, this is extremely petty. Okay. Yes, we are very offended. Garbanzo and I are very very disappointed. <laughs> I got a couple more of the little two spell slots. If you want to end up like this guy, my dude. My dude, don't even try me. Hey, um, whoa, 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 everyone, everyone, <laughs> calm, calm down, calm down. He has challenged me. No, he hasn't. And uh, no, he won't. And don't let me separate you two. <laughs> uh, don't let me take away your boost privileges. I re That's an authority you do not. I respect your bigness as a. Like, I mean, I can punch it. As like a so. I mean, I can break all the booze. You wouldn't <clears throat> do that. I mean, I'm not going to. I'm not going to punch you, Alvaris. Right? Yeah. You're a good guy. I can break the booze. It would be. It would be for a good cause. But I'd rather we just had all have a drink together and calm down. Can we do that, Alvarius? My man, we pour us a. Uh, Around, please. For us, around. Uh, Alvarius uh, fixes around. Here, 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 here's to our victory. <coughs> yeah, we did it. We did it. We killed that asshole over there. Blue Martinez. Yeah, to victory. We didn't try to hug anyone. Uh, it's a good point. I shoot the guy with my crossbow. <laughs> yeah. Once. It, it, it Seriously, we gotta talk about this. Um. You find this is wrong. when you search the bodies, right. you find uh, you find a coin pouch with on on the one with the magnificent armor. You find a coin pouch with three hundred gold pieces in it. <gasps> oh, that splits evenly that between splits three evenly of us. Between all three of us. Excellent. No, no. Perrin yes. has to get some. Perrin does. Perrin's on vacation. <clears throat> um, I don't know where the pencil. Went. Pa Perrin, it's right in front of you. I'm, it's on the, I'm taking a hundred. Uh, also, and I'll, 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 I'll hang on. I'll add I'm it to not the pouch done. Here. That's just in the pouch. Who's pouch? Uh, what pouch? What do you have? The general, general pouch. We've had this last night, that was last week, that bags have been keeping all the money in the pouch. Yeah. I have, I have, I have a whole bunch of money because I keep running my share. I, so. I gave some of it out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I keep most of it, though, because I don't know carry it. In addition to the 300 gold pieces, you find, um, excuse me, 10 platinum pieces. No, I hope I get some of those. You find, uh, you find five uh, oblong... Uh, uh, discs of jade, um, and you find five oblong discs of ivory, but no ebony. No. And ivory. Yeah. Well, surprise! We're back in town. Never send us those ten bits to make you sing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh, we'll, we'll end the dog. <laughs> Who'll get some appraise when we get back to town? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. <clears throat> divide it up. Sure. Uh, you me. also find two more of those amulets. We're well, just having a whole stockpile of those. Please put those in the in the kit. I mean, I'll, I'll hang them on Gary's neck. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can Garbanzo have <gasps> one? Sure. Garbanzo can have one too. Garbanzo has one. Now uh, I take immune. my crossbow out of. <laughs> now everyone's immune to magic. Mystics. Yes. Uh, you. Just so I can cross that off of my prepared spells. You also find a, a small journal. 
Uh, I'll read it. it. You are best suited to deal with madness. It is. Okay. Uh, and I'm good at reading. There's no mean, uh, no madness this time, but you are good at reading. These are minutes of uh, the, the last couple of meetings. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Daryl brought chips. <laughs> yeah, so everyone much. was really deferential to Daryl this time. I one. vote we wait until our bard is back to read the, uh, the, the journal. No, because I want to know where to go. Well... No, he's gonna I love th- it if I we have to sit here and wait. We and should definitely to all the save the bookkeeping for one match back. Yeah. Well, you can you can you can get the Cliff's Notes version if you want. You can just like look through, summarize it, and then you can read them to go into more detail. I just know how much he loves it's just, hearing okay, lots of so detail. So the question like is, I don't want to. Is it worth trolling that with the detail <laughs> or trolling that with the we did stuff this time? Yeah, that's that's. All right, all right, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get this done. So you read the minutes of the notes. There is a lot of detail about who is on snack duty, and it's incredibly petty about how uh, how <clears throat> uh, the person taking the minutes has been the only person to keep the secret hideout clean, and is uh, uh, rather self-aggrandizing. But whose body was this on? Uh, this was on the uh, one in the uh, not the one with the hole in his head, but the other guy in robes. Okay. Um, but you do find out that they have been uh, planning to uh, try and uh, raise the funds needed for their their expedition because they want to hire some adventurers to try and take them past the uh, <clears throat> monsters that inhabit the the uh, ancient uh, fortress in the uh, that is rumored to be buried beneath the ice falls. Oh, we lost the job, guys. <laughs> well done. What do you mean? We'll just the money that you just found was probably the money for that job. No, they were gonna kidnap Her- They were gonna kidnap Harrimont yes. and ransom and him. ransom him for for. Oh, right. my, my lord Harrimont. Yes. If we, <laughs> I've heard, I've heard of a wonderful adventure in these regions. It's ah. gonna be so good. Yeah. Dude. Uh, dude. Apparently, there is a secret fortress hidden under the ice falls. Very well, and he, he like snaps his fingers, and uh, one of his porters is by his side. Go fetch my major domo and have him draw up the paperwork to formalize us into an expeditionary company. Okay, wow, cool, great. Um, so do we get paid now? What the heck does that mean? It means he's gonna pay us to go on an adventure. It means that I shall pay you, and we'll of course claim a small portion of the whatever treasure you find, and all uh, glory also. Oh, of course, of course. Um, all right, glory is whatever. Not if we get like yes, but then we don't get paid. Well, is it greater or less than the percentage of the treasure that he's keeping? You're, I'm a gnome. I'm all in this. I mean, planet. you'll get paid on top of keeping a percentage of the treasure it's you're fine. keeping. We can always kill. Ah, did I you just that. say that? No, you didn't. I didn't he hear that. He spoke to me in giant. Oh. oh. <clears throat> no, Harrimont's great, though. We also could use his boat sometimes. I mean, if we kill him, we get the boat. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Who <laughs> are you? <laughs> he's a smuggler. He proved himself evil. He's he's voided his protection of being a, a good person. I like him, though. I mean, I'll, I'm not, like, saying we need to kill him right now. He's kind of on the gray area for me. But, like, I'm okay if we have to. I find him, like... But see, that's the difference. Is like well, I have more of a moral code, where if you're like, is this guy likable or not, that decides whether you kill him or not. Yes, yeah. my code is an aesthetic one. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, everyone's got their own code. Uh, so <clears throat> that's basically what call playing cat neutral. Um, yeah. you guys are. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you do? We um, sign the paperwork. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I put the dog on a leash. I'm like, I, I'm not ready to. <laughs> to say goodbye. To be done with this I've, dog. I've, uh, Gary barks happily. Um, Are you going to take care of Gary? I'm going to walk Gary for now. Hey, Ravener, so, ask Gary yeah. if he knows about underneath the uh, thing. Hey, Gary, you know about underneath the waterfall, and is there a big fortress there? Huh? What? Uh, hold on. Do you... The waterfall? Uh, the big frozen water? Uh, what? Uh, the thing over there. Yeah. Do you know about anything near, under, or around it? Uh, ask another her bones. Scratches, Are there any bones buried ear. over there? And he kind of looks, looks, tilts his head sideways at you. Uh, uh, no. No. I don't think so. Are all the guys actually Ooh. dead? Y- yeah, you're actually dead. Good. Uh, uh, he really <coughs> nothing. All right. Well, uh. Well, he said he's a mountains and madness business. Let's go in there. 
did they have any? Are there any notes in this in the minutes about how to, how they plan to get there? Oh yeah, there's a, there's the map. Oh well, do we have any Mountain Dew? Uh, there is a map, and they they are talking about uh, uh, the, the the fact that they have uh, it, it, it's frustrating to them because they have they have uh, found the relic that they have been sent here to get, uh, but they do not have the strength of arms to wrest it, uh, for there are too many uh, too many monsters protecting it. Oh, oh like y'all, should I take a brief nap before we get out of here? Yeah, like like HP like rest. Mm. Yeah, you guys have got time. Yeah. <coughs> uh, Haramont has John. his men cook you up a delicious feast. Oh, thank you, Lord. Um, See, this is all you little wood, man. And I've never complained. Uh, they, they. Uh, uh, I mean, it's a good meal. You guys take an extended rest. Oh, we're so extended we lose rest. the temporary yeah. HP, but yeah. I get my lost HP back. Yes. We already, we already lost the temporary <laughs> HP. I didn't. Well, now you didn't. Yeah. Now you did. <laughs> Can we, like, shake <laughs> Perrin in the corner to give it to, Like, look how pretty he is, guys! Don't you feel... Just that Bernie's <laughs> Don't you feel <laughs> better? Can't you do the spell roll, when you're half drunk? Roll a d8. We'll, we'll make him do it. Is it 2d6? Oh, is it? Yeah. I think okay, it's roll that then. Because we've been getting eight. I don't there think he's rolled eight every time. Seven! All right. He's not quite as pretty when he's a, when he's drunk. <laughs> Something by himself <laughs> about this drunk, unconscious <laughs> parent. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I love you. <laughs> yeah, we just put those strings on him. Yeah, you guys are basically like uh, uh, Bags is doing the voice for him. <laughs> it works, but you're not really buying it as much as you. I have feel a little past. dirty about this. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't feel the weird. Um, what else can we make him do? Uh, uh, nothing. We're gonna make him sleep off his hangover. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, Lord Harrowmont did draw all over his face. He is, he has a, a monocle <laughs> and a mustache that curls back Ooh, up this way. Yeah. And uh, looks uh, suspiciously like Lord Harrowmont. <laughs> he <does, he> <laughs> like Lord Harrowmont. He's like a Lord Harrowmont. I've junior. turned you into my son. <laughs> I always wanted a son. You are my perfect little boy. I. <laughs> <Cuckoo. laughs> Excellent! I've always wanted to be the head of a, a an expeditionary company, and now all those millionaires back in Neverwinter will have their noses rubbed in it. Bring me back something fantastic, boys! Well, at least one. <laughs> oh, excuse me, what? No worry about it. Okay, sorry. I mean, we're all I'm fantastic, so as long as we come back. Oh yes, naturally, he, he gets you up at like 5 a.m. Oh, yes. Yeah, he's With guys. breakfast. Breakfast? Yeah. Well, right. let's follow this map. Time's a wasting. Yeah, we're just gonna follow this map, I guess. All right, you follow the map. Thanks to the map, it's an easy journey. Yeah. Make your way to the base of the ice falls. There is a uh, a secret cavern there that's kind huh. of been never frozen noticed over. this before. It, it's yeah, it's frozen been here a million over. Time. Well, it's it's frozen yeah. over by the by the falls and. But how do we uh, know it's when uh, when map. when oh. uh, it is like a melted running waterfall, it would be obscured by the waterfall. Um, um, so should I just blast some of the ice out of the way? Well, uh, you can do that, yeah. Alright. I blast some of the ice out of the way. Alright, it, it takes you a little while, but you guys, like, blast, blast and dig your way through Blasting is my whole shit, but yeah. it's fine. Yeah. yeah. I'll use my shovel. <clears throat> I don't yeah. I, uh, I watch, because this is funny. Well, I'll blast you guys, you just shovel the fall yeah, and Yeah, exactly. Shit. You guys, in short order, after... That was after, a good workout. After, like, <laughs> I take off my gnome hat, you know, fill it with the ice shavings, uh, pour some syrup in it, and invent a slushy cone. That's what it's going Yeah. snow cone. After, slushy I mean, it, I could We're see it being... It, it is a snow cone, though, yeah. Carbonzo? From Alvarius. <laughs> Gross. Uh, bring I assume with you're bringing Alvarez yeah, with you. Uh, yeah, we sure. can't bring him into the de de deadly cave. Dude, you gotta check these out. He could it's... die, and then he's gonna make our drinks when we get back. Ooh. I'm That's like, I'm like Alvarez. Just trash. I'm like Alvarez. Yes, Come here, your ears. Very well. Haramont has other bartender. Oh, come now. He hasn't done anything wrong. Haramont might have forfeited protection, but Alvarez hasn't. So I we'll say, I him. say, we ask him if he wants there to go are, along. There are and if traps. He say, if he says he wants to just go along, just grab a couple bottles. All right, I grab a couple bottles. Oh, there he is. Can I uncover my ears, sir? Yes. Yes. Mm. Um, I guess I'll just grab a couple bottles. Very well, sir. And then you hang back with Lord Harrowmont in case <clears throat> this becomes like a you might die situation. He hands you a bottle and, and says, <clears throat> "This is your preferred cocktail, sir." I said sir. a couple bottles. Yes, sir. This is. 
these are the normal bottles. This one I mixed last night for Ooh. you. Oh, so good. Like, you, so you have one, you have one bottle of like mixed drink cocktails that you enjoy, whichever that is. And Three then some, normie bottles and one special for me. Yeah, basically. Yours has a nipple on the end. We're gonna have like a little tentacle, like a little, little, little tentacle, tentacle straw on the end. No, no, none of that. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm cutting that. That is not happening. Uh, instead, you guys. Keep it Eldritch straw. <laughs> All right, so you no, make your no. way into this dungeon, and everyone make perception checks. Now I get to do this awesome thing. Ooh, eighteen. <clears throat> Sixteen. All right. Um, uh, do you want to roll perception? Okay, that was worse. Twelve plus what's your was plus two your three so fifteen. Fifteen, <clears throat> sixteen, eighteen. Yeah, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen. All right, you guys <clears throat> have spotted uh, what what lays in wait uh, as you make your way down the ice caverns. Uh, the mm. first of the monsters are kind of the first hidden in amongst the icy crystals along the ceiling. Uh, are they like frozen? The light, them, or just the light catches off of uh, the light from your torches and or light spell catches off of them, and you can see their beady yellow eyes as they hang among the the crystals and stalactites on the ceilings. Uh, these are creatures made entirely out of ice. Uh, they have sharp clawed hands, long hooked noses, and uh, bat-like wings made entirely of. Hmm. Hmm. You got some fire, we can send them a song. I have produced ah. I got, I got produce flame. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on. Um, I got nothing that makes fire. Don't you have a big fire spell? No. Are you sure you don't have a fireball? I'm uh, pretty sure I don't have a fireball. Did I really just like dream that this happened once and you cast fireball? You must have. Yeah. Even so if I was a regular wizard, I couldn't cast fireball yet. Yeah, no, that's true. It's all very true. You did um, cast a firebolt once? I mean, I, I did burning hands. And burning hands. Oh, burning hands. Was that's what he And it was super effective. It was. Um, Much like Charmander. True. True. Um, okay, well, we see these things floating there. Yes. Uh, I'm well, still feeling froggy. Uh, yeah. Can I laser blast one? You can, and they, in turn, will act. Done. We should roll for initiative. What if they're friendly? Oh, they're not. They look, at, look at Whispers them. Whispers Perrin from somewhere <laughs> way behind us. Uh, all right, I got right. a 14. 14? Uh, Four. Four? Hey, roll for initiative. Oh, sorry, five. Not five. Sorry. 20 again? Ha! <laughs> All right. Uh, what's that? Uh, Ray, He's distracted, but it's like the first. perfect focus distraction. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm a gnome. <clears throat> he doesn't yes, say anything. Uh, <laughs> yes, you are, buddy. <laughs> you certainly are. Uh, so I guess we're killing these, these. The ice beasts. Have they tried to attack us? They are, are just... about to attack. You. Do you know what? How do we know? Are we preempting? Can you them? talk? Can you talk to them? Um, they're. I think they're too big. How big are they? They are. Uh, <laughs> you just, you're, wait, your your ability to touch animals are small animals. Oh, uh, okay. They're your size. They're my size. Yeah. They oh. are like the hey, almost uh, exact size and humanoid shape. Are they uh, ice gnomes? Hey guys. They're not gnomes. Guys. Yes. Hey. Uh. Do. You, can you understand me? Uh, they can understand me, but they're really not going to be articulate. So, um, could you just perhaps let us get past without having... They swarm like, down. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> um, all right, you're up. Well, I think you're uh, Yeah. Um, can we I, have a surprise round? No. I guess I'm gonna they would have had a surprise round. I guess round I'm, I'm going to try and shoot one, I guess. Do it. They're coming at us. How many yeah. are there? Shoot them. Uh, there are... Nope. Two busy talking. Two busy talking. I couldn't. I couldn't have shaved. I couldn't have saved the twenty for now. Yeah. Uh, well, I missed. Um, the opposite of this last. So I got like a six. Is that good enough? Uh, no. Okay. Well, they they dark. swarm down at you. Uh huh. But. But. Before they can strike, they vanish into mist. Oh. What? I guess we were just too hot for them. Ow! <laughs> Can't touch this. Yeah. Uh, and then the rest of this we'll just have to get to later. Uh, oh, what? Guys, the, there is a bit of mist that hangs on the ground, though, about ankle ankle deep. 
Um, yeah, we're actually a vampire. Just to do a weird test, I'm going to do Produce Flame so I can do it for free. Sure. And I'm just going to stick my Produce Flame hand like into the mist. All right, it goes away. It's condensation mist. Oh, it's not hurt by it? No. All right, look at it. <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was anything cool. How high is the mist? Uh, about ankle high. For... For everyone, because so you all start at yeah. your, your, yeah. Your feet and ankles aren't that much smaller than all the rest of our feet and ankles. It's the other parts that yeah. make the difference. My feet are slightly smaller than your feet. Yeah, so maybe it's yes. like a little it's higher like on your ankles. slightly higher than ankle deep to you, Ravener. But can can I lay down and hide in it and no. do like a, I want to do like a, you, I want to do you, like you, a, you like that, an angel. Your head, your hat would stick out. Yeah. <laughs> I go. I play. Most of you I want to play in in the mist. You you can play in the mist. That's fine. Excellent. I skip around and play. All in right. Mist. Yeah. I want to play in Stephen King's The Mist. Uh, do you? I want to play Mist. Uh, Classic maybe, video game. Well, uh, keep keep adventuring. I'm sure we'll get to a dungeon that's like that. <laughs> oh no. Um. All right. What's well, right. the next monster in here? Yeah, uh, maybe it'll do something. Did they? Did, is the chat just like there's no monsters in there? Is that what they gave you? Is every monster name they should have before they could fight them? No. Was their chat like, well, since Perrin's not here, we should do something. We can't <laughs> let them have any fun. <laughs> uh, you guys proceed uh, through. Did Perrin pay for this? You guys proceed on through the, the, the cavern and come to a, a buried, ruined looking fort. Um, <gasps> this fort looks like trash, dudes. I'm just wondering who put It's like mostly here. buried. Well, and, oh, well come on. We already found like here, a mansion under a mansion with true. a basement with, with, with a sunk. pit. Like, eh, that's true. This makes a lot like, more sense. This, this makes, makes more sense than that. Sense. Like, why <laughs> wouldn't there be a fort <laughs> inside uh, of nope, it? Nope. It, looks, it looks to be a dwarven construction, actually. Uh, oh. Classic dwarf move. Yeah. Uh, this uh. is the, like, third. No, this is the. This is not even the... I can read the Dwarven letters. There are like multiple good, less good, reasonable good. things I've found underground already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we found Jeffrey underground. So like this <laughs> exactly. Like, this is like the third <laughs> most reasonable thing. I know, and he was in the basement of a house in the basement of another house. It was just... All yeah, right. True. Uh, you yeah. guys... Well, across the lake. You guys... Uh, that was in the basement. Yeah. Um, what... Oh, house, basement, uh, lake, what, are you house, guys, basement. what are you guys doing as you approach? Um, Who says Watching that? carefully. There are long shadows in the room. Shadows loom! My namesake! Looming shadows. Is that good or bad? Wait, wait. Uh, I don't know. How do you what, interpret those? What is sun? casting the shadows? I mean, I assume our light sources, our light sources yeah, are casting. Light sources. Why are we carrying light sources? Because it's dark. Yeah. Well, who can't see in the dark here? Dude, seriously? I got bad eyesight. Why do you think I have glasses? Big. Can we just tie a rope around your waist and like I can hold it and just lead you along? Well, yeah, I guess Bonzo can't point, see in the dark. At some point, we should all like figure out what the characters look like, right? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Like. Yeah. This is what Garbanzo looks like. <laughs> Yeah. We do Garbanzo know that. can't see in the dark. I just mean I think it would be sweet to get some like some uh, fan Yes, art actually, Garbanzo of, can oh, see in the dark. Okay. Yeah. The Garbanzo well, you guys can't see colors. At any rate, colors. colors. No. That's what we're like. You okay. guys uh, advance on the fortress. All right. You step inside. The first thing you come across are some dwarf corpses. <gasps> What's all the dwarf corpses? Yeah. Uh, they are wearing they're wearing uh, breastplate armor. Is it leather breastplate or no, metal? It's like metal breastplate. Uh, Can I strap it onto my chest? Uh, you you're kind of bigger than a dwarf. Uh, yeah. Does it fit you? You are bigger than a dwarf. If I put no. the, like two of them on there. No. Uh, they also have battle axes. Uh-huh. Eh. That's eh. about it. That's it? Yeah, their bones have been completely picked clean. So they're just skeletons, they're not corpses. Drops. Yeah, they're just skeletons. Drops. Uh, oh, and they, give me they, uh, another perception check. Uh, do we hear drum? Uh, you don't hear drum. Aha, uh -huh, 21. Uh -huh. 16. Um, 20. 20, and Garbanzo naturally has like 16 or something all the time. All right, well. <laughs> we are not surprised. Uh, actually, everyone but you is surprised. But what? Yeah, 20, oh. All right, oh, yeah, 21. Oh. All right, well, I'm not surprised. We have to have higher than 20? Yes, you have to have wow, 21. This is, this is very stealthy. Oh, I had 16. Roll a 20 doesn't. Uh, Every time. Percent. All right, uh, go ahead and oh, let's, let's get initiatives real quick. Oh, oh is that perception? Oh, doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Seven. All right. 
What are we rolling for? Initiative for real. Nine. Please, not a 20. All right. Plus two so, uh, so bad. So seven, nine, you see, 11. you see the shadows kind of three actually twisting around uh, on the walls, and okay. then they step off of the walls. Um, Sorcery. Advancing on you, attacking. What shadows? How do we yeah. find shadows? Uh, uh, light. You find Magic? out. I'm gonna try punching them. I'm gonna try shooting lasers. At them. One of them Kay. attacks you and crits, bags. Uh oh. Uh, That's how the dwarves get, get die. Get your magic no damage dice. <laughs> how much damage does he do to me? Eighteen points. I will reduce that by nine. All right, you take nine points of damage. And I take eight points of damage. Uh, will you pass me one of those d4s? Your strength is reduced by two. What? As their their attacks seem to sap your strength. What madness is this? My body fails me. Uh, and then there are some shadows attacking you, Ravener. Oh no! Um. But only. Well, what's your armor class, actually? Uh, my armor class is fifteen. No, none of them managed to hit you. And Alamar, uh, <coughs> one of them hits you. You take three points of, or four points of damage, I can, I can add, and your strength is reduced by three oh. points. Temporarily. Yeah, Temporarily. Can I see that pencil? Uh, and that's, Good that's thing I don't use the my start strength of the surprise, uh, the uh, then bags goes. All right. Uh, how many shadows are there? Just three? There are, uh, there are six. There are six. How closely are they packed? Uh, they are grouped around you guys. How many can I hit with a burning hand? Uh, if you don't want to hit your friends, uh, you could probably hit um, four of them. I will burning hands all my friends. Nah. <laughs> Fines! Be gone, foul magic! All right. And I will launch a burning hands upon them. All right. No! He's not going to hit us. He's going to uh, do a good job. He's not hitting Okay, you. we can't hit me. I'm too short to anyway. Do a thing. Totally right, smacking what's, you. What's your color. save, DC? Uh, my save DC is 13. 13. All right. They make, let's see. Uh, all but one of them makes their save. Oh. Oh. Three of ice. Oh, four. Choose them. They'll take 11 damage or half of the damage. All right. Uh, you notice that the fire does not seem to find much to burn. They seem resistant. Mm. Uh. Uh, all right. Groan. That was my turn. The the three that made their saves are barely scorched at all. Is it me now? Yes. That's my twenty. No, just to Alamar. There's only one thing I know how to do. Well, I think it's safe to assume, right, that like something like Arms of Hadar or Cloud of Daggers probably isn't going to do much here. Probably not going to do much. Probably not. Going so to I'm going to blast away. All right. We're not. I just shoot straight the second, up in the, the air. Not the run of the night, uh, and then the shadows will attack again. Uh. Attack! 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 All right. Uh, Are we dead? We got attacked twice. Oh no! Uh, bags, you are missed both times. Raider, <laughs> you are hit both times. I'm hit both times. Yeah. Um. Uh, what was I hit for? Uh, damage six probably. and then seven points of damage. You said so thirteen damage. total. Thirteen total. Ouch. And uh, Alamar, you are only hit once, but they max damage, so you take you take twelve. Ugh. Jarvis. And uh, I need some D fours. Ravener, your strength I'm very much taken to is reduced by five. <coughs> your strength is reduced by another three. Oh, Ooh, I'm very weak right now. Yeah, I have minus four on strength rolls now. All right. Good retreat. <coughs> Doesn't sound like us. I mean, we've only been doing this for so long. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we haven't had a question of like setting up a group <laughs> ordinance about retreating. <laughs> yeah. But. It's true. Uh, that brings us to Ravener. Hey, Gary, why don't you do anything? Are you uh, Gary, um, Gary d is barking like, <coughs> like angrily at them. Anything better? Well, I'm going to try and I guess 
They're that close to me? Yeah, they they just kind of stepped out of the walls and into you guys. Well, I, they're right on us, right? Yep. So I guess it would be kind of silly to... Um, how close are they all together? Uh, all together? Um, you can Ooh, catch four of them in a, in a blast easily. They're grouped around you guys, so... Mm. So are we surrounded? Uh, yeah, are uh, we, not, not are we exactly. within the same five feet as them? Uh, you're within five feet of them. But are, at least two of them. Mm. But the rest of them are further than five feet from us, but close together within five feet of each other? They're within five feet of you you guys. Like, there's, oh, there's never mind. I can't two, do that. I can't do. I was trying to do an area spell. but You, you, can, spell. you can catch yeah, four of them in a blast. Uh, you can catch four of them without just, like, hail, hail of them. Hail of thorns. Yeah, you can do that. But wouldn't that hurt us as well? No. No, if no, you no, put no, the no, center no, of it far enough out to yeah. the circle, <laughs> ah, it would I see, and then just catch it. Okay, yeah. so I'm, I cast Hell of Thorns. All right. Hell of Thorns. Which is completely now dependent upon, of course, my arrows, yes? And a hit. I don't know. What does it do? Well, it actually bonds to my arrow, so. All right. And that, that sets the center. Okay, so yeah, you okay. shoot on okay. the thing. Okay. Yeah. So what, what's your saving throw, DC? Oh, I'm gonna look up Hail of Thorns. Yeah. yeah. I got it here. Oh, you, yeah. You just make. <coughs> Are you asking about the saving throw for them? No, so yeah, yeah, now you actually do attack. Um, yeah. And the next time you attack, you get a <coughs> uh, addition to the normal effects of the mm-hmm. attack, target any creature within five feet, makes make a deck saving throw. So yep. you need to hit. And yes, I have to hit. Yeah. But I had to cast the spell first. Yeah, so you cast a spell, it's bonus action. You wouldn't be able to catch four of them with this this kind of a spell. Not four of them, but... No, you could catch three, but... Three? Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Still super fucking worth it. Do it. Still totally worth it. I cast it and it's on this three and then I'm gonna try and shoot one of them. Fourteen and five, nineteen. Alright, nineteen. Please, please tell me their AC isn't higher than that. No, no. You hit. You definitely hit. Okay. So then we have to calculate the damage. We need a D8. One, two. Uh, two. No. Oh. However, the the one that no, you tethered. have uh, one that you have hit makes the saving throw. The other two do not. Okay, but you still take six points of damage. All right. And then you roll a D10 for the other two. And then I roll a D10 for the other two. Well, and he just takes half. Okay. Yeah. So four for everybody except that guy takes two additional. All oh, right. Eight and two fours. Yep. They are injured. Fours. And then Garbanzo attacks them. All right. He attacks the same one that I just shot. Nope. No, no, no. It's not your best work. Yeah, not, not my best work. Slashy, slashy. Garbanzo's like. Psh. That was one attack. That was one attack. Second attack. Huh? Second attack. Oh, yeah. Second attack. Do it. Oh. Crits oh! Crits him. Double damage. Double damage. And now we do a D six. Two D six. One, seven, seven, seven plus one is eight. It looks like, the, again, there is not much for them to slash at. Uh, mm-hmm. They do not take the full amount of damage. They're this. resistant. Uh, uh, so how much did they take? <coughs> uh, half of the damage that you dealt. It's gonna take forever. Crazy farts. Why are we, why are we doing <laughs> You guys this? might want to. <laughs> You know, retreating is not the worst idea. No! Um, <coughs> Alright. Yeah. Next up is... Unless you guys are about to die. I have 14. Yeah. I it's Bags is next. I I yeah, Bags is next. Sorry. Uh, do any of them look mo- more injured? Yes. Uh, the one that he shot is the most injured. Alright, I shall attempt to dispel it. Alright. Oh. With a magic missile! Excellent! Woo! I love magic missiles. I hope they cast some. We're all wearing amulets. Pew, 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 pew! Pew, 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 pew! pew. 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 It will take seven points of force damage. Ooh, which is not very happy about that. Yeah. It dissolves. Yes. Get out of here. here. Five more to go. Bam. Five more. Bags. Bags. Bags Slayer of Shadows. Is it me and the Uh, guys? Yes. It is to you, Alamar. Um, what's the most hurt one now? The most, most, not the most hurt one, is one of the ones next to the one that Bags shot. All right. I I laser beam him. Pick one of them at random. No one knows what I rolled, but it's a 16. <laughs> All right, that hits. Um, great. Where's the 10? Actually, uh, I think I handed you an 8, dude. Ten, that's, an, that's 10. Okay. 10 damage. All right. 
Then away goes spell. that one. They they do not seem to have any kind of protection against the spells you guys have just been doing. Yes. Take the full damage. Eldritch and force damage seem workable. Nice. I yes. shall take them. You must slay them with your Eldritch Blast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Next up, there you go. I'm gonna there rip are holes in these motherfuckers. Two dead. They are not very happy about that. Um, two of them are still swarming on you. Oh come on! Sorry, uh, dude. Missing both times. Good. Thank goodness. Bags. What's your armor class? Currently a 15. 15. I got a 20 to hit you. If you can do anything about that. Not about a 20. Okay. <laughs> that would be nuts. You can take six points of damage <coughs> and lose a point of strength. Uh, and that's them. All right. That takes us back that to... That takes us to... Your turn. And Garbanzo. Uh, I'm kind of scared, guys, because uh, my bows and arrows and things aren't really hurting us. Just keep it up! Okay! Just keep it up! Okay, okay. Do more good stuff. Okay. I, is my spell spells already done, right? So my spell's gone. Yeah, your spell's done. Uh, you get another spell, you could spell them again. I can fog them or wound or, or heal them. Or you could heal me. I could probably heal you. Ooh, that's not a bad plan. I touch him to heal him, and I need a D8. <laughs> You've been known. Eight, eight, it's eight, right eight, 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 eight. That's what they say. I can't. It's, it's in front of his head. You've like, been known. And I heal you touched four. Three plus. I think you do two of them. Is it two? Hold or on. What spell is it? Uh, cure, cure wounds. One D8 plus spell cast mod. Uh, no. His modifier is what now? Yeah, that's fair. My modifier is wisdom for my spells, correct? So yes. six. So, or, so it's six points I killed you for. Great, Grubus, pass me the pen back. Uh, Grubus. Garbanzo. Grubus. Yes. What Attack! Garbanzo attacks. Strike now, Garbanzo! Uh, I'm assuming 18. the other one that, that got caught in your hail of thorns. Sure. 18 hits. Okay, 18 hits, and then he goes for the beak, and that's a uh, six. And his Great. claws. And uh, then now he, comes the and claws. Then he goes for the claws. Oh, the darkness. Wait, did um, you do another attack roll first? Oh, yes, yeah. yeah, sorry. My bad. Meow. Uh, mm. Eight. No, that won't do it. No, won't Ten do it. less. Sorry. <clears throat> all right. That's all we can do, uh, guys. Backs. Yes. Gary barks. Barbara? Gary, do something. Gary starts, like, jumping around, pulling at the leash anxiously. I try and, like, pull it a little bit to get him to, like, focus his energy. Uh, I should... What are you gonna Gary do? Gary barks, li- like, you can hear his barks echoing off of that. I'll, I'll look in the direction he's... Is he barking and they do No, he's just barking, I mean, at the shadows. Okay. Gary, please do something helpful. Let him off his leash. Is it a free action to let him off his leash? Yeah, it's a free action to let him off his leash. leash. Alright, he runs away. He runs away. He runs past the shadows. He like bolts forward. Deeper into the cave? Yeah, deeper into the cave. Gary is wise. (laughs) He went further (laughs) in. Or he's a monster. (laughs) Alright, I shall summon a a Ravener. A chill touch. Mm. (laughs) Alright. To try to consume one of the shadows. I shall freeze it with darkness and necrotic damage. Excellent. That sounds very complicated. Out of the darkness. I have materializes. Clutching at it. Clutching at it. With just the fingertips. Just, yes. Just clutching around, like, near it. Yes. <laughs> it, 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 it was like, I am squishing Stop you, about it. the shadow no, was, like, blocking. No need to speak of these things. <laughs> the number of ones that have been rolled. Yes. Uh, the shadow knows. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, brings us to Elmar. Um, I look at the one that's been most, that is most hurt. Yes. And I rip it. A new one. For a 19. All right. You definitely hit. You're looking to beat a 12. Just to speed things along. Uh, yeah! Okay. Um, and then yeah, nine, goes. 9 plus 4, 13. Yeah, oh, you melt him. You I just love melt your him into nothing. Who doesn't these days? Oh, they're so amazing. Uh, the shadows are down to 3. Have uh, you, nerds? These bags, you get two attacks of opportunity as they try and swarm uh, uh, Alamar. Or all three, all three of them are swarming him? Well, two of the two that were on you moved to swarm him. Right. Well, I can only get like, one attack opportunity. Nah. Uh-huh. That's how it works. But I will. That's how it works. I will try to smite. smite oh, one. come on! 
Uh, oh, says, hooray! What's your armor class? A 12, that hit. Okay, one hits you. Out of three? Yes. I'll take it. Uh, one of them will take 11 points of damage. All right. Uh, probably halved. It is halved. Yeah. Now hand me a d4. You take six points of damage. Uh. And... Lose three points of strength. Uh, How much strength are you at? One. Oh man, I'm glad I didn't roll a four because you'd be dead right now. Do you die if your stat runs You're, out? You die if your strength runs out. Specifically. Somebody help <laughs> me, please! I can't pump more strength than you. All right. Uh, Drink more booze! Ravener, it's your turn. Work out oh more! My God. I can't um, work out more right now. <laughs> so there's three of them left? There's three of them Is left. Is there one that's even wounded? Yes. I aim at him. All right. There's the one that bags just 14 smacked. plus and whatever. Yeah, you got one it. Of them I got it. Also. And one of them was burnt. Burn him. Um, eight. Eight. So there Burn are two that are wounded. Uh, nine. Alright. He takes half of that. Half of that, which is 4.4 point five damage. Are you rounding up to five? Yep. Awesome. Alright. Garbanzo he leaps. The, he's the most hurt. The patch roof. He's the most hurt. Yeah. How much damage did you do with your attack again? Eleven. Was Eleven, right? Okay. Uh-huh. Good. Alright. Um, go, go, Garbanzo. Yeah, Garbanzo Gar- might be able to take him down. Garbanzo jumps at him. Alright. Uh, 18. That hits. And then he uses a d6. Yes. No, a d8. D8 and then a d6. That's a d10. That's 10, sorry. Why do they all look the same? They super did up. <laughs> Five. All right. Six. He's still up. And then Garbanzo. Hits. For that. All and right. Then he, uh, and then he does a. Yeah! Five, six. There he goes. Woo! <laughs> all right. Garbanzo, Garbanzo the shadow. bites into him and the shadow evaporates, leaving two bags. Two, dude. Can you get two? It's really simple. Like we've killed almost all of them. I cannot get two. If you get one, Alamar will get to get one. Has a chance to get one. The question is, can I get one, or should I grapple the shadows? That seems crazy. <laughs> that sounds like a wasted uh, effort. I feel, I, like don't know. Gra- I feel like sometimes you're just grappling just to grapple. I mean, but if I grapple the shadow, it can't attack you, and if you kill the other one, it won't be able to move towards you. Well, unless it's a shadow and just like, zoop. No, oh, that's not how this works. I feel like that could, might be how it works. Ah, I'm just saying it's a possibility worth considering. I, I, I will, I, I will tell you, uh, uh, having flung at it, you know there's not much there. But there's something there. Uh, give me an intelligence check. Oh my god. That would be a 22. You know that these 22. things, uh, you, you cannot grab at the shadows. Ah, they can grab you. But I want to grasp at shadows. You immune, just want to hold its shadowy bits. And you bits. would be grasping at shadows. Grasping they are shadows. immune to the grappled condition. Oh. And you know that they are. And none of them are hurt yet? Uh, no, two, uh, one of them is hurt. Not badly. Not, not very But they don't have that many hit points. I don't know. Unless you're using like kinetic damage, like I am, and then they have a lot of hit points. That's what I. That's what you love. Do you have with. another magic missile uh, or a cantrip? Uh, yeah, my cantrip only <clears throat> does D8 damage. Mm. It's unlikely I'll be able to kill. I honestly, have a better. I, if you could do a little bit to two of them, I might be able to kill those. Uh, Arms of hate are necrotic damage. He just looked that up. Yeah. We don't know if they're immune. If they don't, we don't know if they're resistant to necrotic damage yet. That's the other issue. <laughs> but they might not be. Well, Is this twenty-two that he rolled on like knowing stuff about shadows? <laughs> I was gonna think about that. Probably immune to necrotic damage because they're undead. Uh, uh, beans. Okay. Yeah, I can't kill two of them. <laughs> About as I'll do about as much damage just hitting them as I would with a magic missile. All right. And I won't expel it. I spend my spell slot. Okay. Do your things. I hope you hit them. Oh, well, you probably will. I move behind one. Run away from him! I'm your foe. I will hit one. All right. The <clears> hurt <throat> one. Yes. I'll reroll those. How many times did you do that? 
attack with it. I can only roll ones and twos. One damage attack. Whoa! Snap. That's crazy. Uh, for 12 damage. All right. He is injured gravely, but not down. Um. All right, Alomar. Should I go for the livest one, or should I go for the pretty hurt one? I'll go for the pretty hurt one. All right, go for the pretty hurt one. Give me a 20. <clears throat> Come on. Not a terrible result. Terrible result! No, oh, no! I miss grievously. Well, unfortunately, so do they. Uh, no, that's fortunately. You are missed, and Bags, you are also missed. <laughs> I said I was your opponent. I thought you could hit me. I mean, unless... We're going to die. Yeah. Uh, no, well, Graveyard, the only one who's going to die they, is me. They hit you with a 15. They did not hit me! Okay. <laughs> uh, you, you actually I'm, have to do the thing. I do the thing. All right. They cannot touch this. All Get right, uh, Rivner. Hammer time. I will aim no big shot. No at the oh, right. most right. at most wounded one. <clears throat> All right. Twenty. Hit. Seven. Ooh. Uh, he is injured again and dies. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, Bonzo oh, leaps Bonzo. at the remaining that was a good, one. That was, that was a good hit. Yeah, that was a good hit. Uh, Fifteen. Wait, is that a six? a six? Oh, never mind. Uh, Eleven. That is not claws, claws of darkness. Oh yeah, nine. Forget it. He misses the second time as well. Yeah, I don't know what Bonzo. I think. All right. Uh, and is that you? I thought it was Corbanzo. <laughs> then it puppet. comes back to backs. Yes, He's fiend! Real. Get away from him! One left! I'll finish this one partially. <laughs> <laughs> I just play it start on it, honestly. Because honesty's always the best option. Just do your best. I'll use my inspiration for last time. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I have one of those. Yes! Yeah. I strike him well! Ha <laughs> ha! The reason that we got re-rolled, by the way, people at home, is that it got stuck in the corner and nobody see the number was. Uh, that would be another 12. All right. And then I'll take a deep breath and take my second wind. Ooh. Uh, ooh. All right. Talking about wind. That dude. That heals him for some hit points. I heal all the damage I've taken. Uh, Back to full. <laughs> all right. Uh, and it's Elmar's turn. I had to take him. I'm going to kill him. I blast. It could be an adventure when you die. Do it. 14 that hits. This is what it all comes down. Oh, yeah, the only go. Whoa! Then I like try. Then I like try to. Do you want to arm up. wrestle? I like try to lift up my drink, <laughs> and it's just like, oh! Want to arm wrestle a gnome? No. Huh? Are you okay? Let's take him to the hill. <laughs> Are you drunk? I walk oh, over yes. and push him. But other, I follow. Him. <laughs> <laughs> then I stand on his chest. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I, and I wiggle. I, I, get, I, I, I will I, pick Raven see, up and you set see, him like, down. The yellow, the yellow green energy crackling between my fingers. None, none of that. None Ready of that. To fucking rip. Uh, Come down. That's not how you treat our fallen comrade. You look like I you are on death's you. door, my friend. Super duper am. Can you give me another heal? Do you have any spells left to do that? Uh, uh, yes, I strength. do. Actually, yeah, but also my. But your strength also. is all. Well, hang on. How, how 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 long how long do we have? How, when does the strength damage wear off? After a long or short rest. Oh, well, we can just rest here for an hour. Let's take a quick nip nap. All yeah. right, you nip can nip. spend some of your hit dice if you want. Yes, I can do what? Three. <laughs> spend it. Hit dice. Yes. Three. <laughs> I will oh, for the little people. do that. Can you pass me a D? Do I, is it ten or eight? Six. Is it's for six. warlocks. I think it's eight for, for warlocks. Eight for warlocks. Probably eight. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna double check. I'll double check. You here. double check. Pass me the 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 pencil for a second, please, sir. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, I've never super fought. good and interesting. Can I rest and get my some of my, my HP back? Yes. Yeah, you can use your hit dice. You can do some D10s. Wow. You have up to three that you can spend. Wait, is that for until my next long rest? And you get yes. your you get your con with that too, right? And you get your yeah. con bonus. That's it. Well. I'm done. I only used two of them because I got back to four. There you go. Uh. <clears throat> Wait. All right. While while you guys rest. Um, you notice that now the room's not quite as dark as it was. Oh. That's pretty cool. 
What He's happened to, uh, to Gary? Is he, is he just gone? You Gary hear barking. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, we should probably Gary. go Gary. Gary! Move. Gary! Move. Move. Hey, come Move. here! Good boy, Gary! Move. Move. Good boy! I've got some shadow meat for you, Gary. We are gonna give you uh, a bone for Ooh, the gnome. Ooh, ten with one die. I'll just take that because that heals me all the way. Alright. Can I get the pencil? And, and uh, uh, Gary does not seem to be... Well, you actually hear a, a loud crash. Oh. Gary. Gary. Harf, 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 harf. I'm okay. staying like safely, like behind it. Gary, right, bring, bring me another ruby. Why are you hiding? Bring me a ruby, Gary. If I lose all my strength, I'm no, dead. You, you no, that's gone. Better. You've rested. Oh, I rested. rested. Rest. Back to chill bad. beans. I forgot. Yeah. yeah, that's why we were resting. Yeah, cool. No, I'm chilling with everyone. I'm not even hiding. <laughs> we sit around and drink for a little while. Like, all right, we're good. You, we're got, good. you <laughs> drink. Had a nice chill. Just literally get your strength back. Yeah. All right, you, you. Go up the uh, d- down towards the noise. I assume. Aren't we supposed to like lurk in this fort or something? Yeah. Well, we're falling back. Yeah, we ran right? into the fort. Oh, we weren't in the fort yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, do that. You can see Let's that. Do the thing. Uh, Let's as keep doing the thing, as right. you approach, you can see that Gary has pulled down four different iron candlesticks, uh, and ha- has somehow broken a table completely in two. Gary, what? Arf, arf, arf. Ask me how we did that. Gary, how did you break the table? Uh, well, and he starts explaining, and you kind of piece together from the fact that his leash is tangled around one of the candlesticks, and he is still actively trying to get away from it when you walk into the, the room. Physics. <laughs> but Gary's not strong enough to break a table with a candlestick. I mean, we don't know how old these tables are. How big is the candlestick? I punched the table. It's rotten. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Another Gary mystery <laughs> solved. <laughs> <laughs> I keep trying to tell you, he's just a dog. He's not just a dog. He is causing a bit of chaos at the moment. He's making a lot of noise. Okay, I go over and I pet him he's and not, I hug him. Right. He's not just and, a dog. And he's a trap tripper. If there were any enemies waiting in here, they would have come out by now. You are not allowed to keep sending Gary ahead of us. I didn't send him. I saw you. Oh, I was like, Gary, do something, and then you were like... And he let him off his leash, you do something, so I did. You unclipped his leash, and then, and then I said, Enter my Schnell. domain. You hold on. Gary, no, this I is am Barnabas, Annabelle, Gold, 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 Feather, Hawthorne, Merryweather, Jr. Oh, why are you talking? Of the South Rocket Merryweathers, also known as Water Beach talking, Children, here. known as Bags, Friend to Golems, Protector of the Configuration of Souls, Fisher of Men, Shadows Loom. Who are you? That last part doesn't really sound like a name. Turn back. That's an odd name. Oh, it's almost like Shadow's Loom. This doesn't sound like a name. Die. Leave. Family name? <laughs> I, you know, Master Master Sistara gave me that name, and I don't really know. I guess it's a, a personal thing. But yeah. All right, Darth Plagueis, let's talk. I, mean, um, I can't help it. <laughs> what? Why? What? Who are you? You don't get to just tell us when we're gonna die. That's true. The hour of our death is foretold in the stars. I <laughs> also, not that. Just know will you. be oh, but... the hour of your death if you do not leave. What? Yeah, you. I think you feel like you're more think... intimidating than you are. Do you know how to use a clock? Yeah, you can't be an hour. Unless if you're unless you're an hour, in which case I'm but not super worried. About I... you. Right, because then I... it'll all be like. I just want your name. Click, click, click. <laughs> Click, that's all I hear from you. Yeah. Click, click, click. That's... I have a great story about watches, but we'll save it for <laughs> Why do you remain? Because we have stuff to do here, and you just sound like one of a million spooky voices that we've ended up destroying the source of before. I mean, that's true. He has a point. Leave now? No, okay. I mean, that's Why different. Why don't you just that's, come out and talk to us? Hang out. We, we brought. Just, like, we have a bartender. He will make you a drink. We actually didn't, but we did bring drinks. <laughs> yeah, we got drinks. We got right. party tricks. Uh, right. We have a dog. I can do magic tricks. He can do magic tricks. I can do magic. We've got a uh, griffin. Yeah, we got a small griffin. Uh, I've got a shovel. I'm a no. Buried. Uh, dug up. Three small rotating lights kind of float float up through the floor. Okay, good trick. Good trick. That's good nice. Trick. Yeah, good yeah, trick. Yeah, uh, I produce flame, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> they cool. All Sort of swirl around and uh, coalesce into a uh, woman. No, 
You've Never a woman. Yeah, you've just no, been guessing you everything he'll listen to a woman today. I mean, at some point, it's got to be right. <laughs> Broken clock. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Speaking of clocks. Hey, wow. Riffing on the theme. A, real, a true light motif. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. Uh, it is a... Uh, it just looks like a, a normal a normal man. Normal dude. See, look, normal man, you're I, good. With, with, like, kind of... I mean, except for the fact that his arms are a little scaly. Oh, uh, are you a, an insmith? Deep, a deep, are you like a deep one sort of situation? No. Are you a smith and do a you know, Do you know Jeffrey? I know not of this Jeffrey. Yeah, he's like a squeepy little... Could we man. interest you in a drink? Of alcohol. No alcohol. one's ever offered me one before. Well, look, it's we're kind of an outside-the-box little tro- uh, trike over here. Really? We have some good drinks, too. That's true. We have very well-aged... We have uh, still, uh, Amazing still, well-aged wine. I still have three bottles of, like, classic vintage wine, plus two bottles of, like, very expensive regular booze, plus one bottle that's, like, not really for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> but you're kind of a special guest. Uh, I didn't say that. He said that. It's not his bottle. You... He's not even a guest. I, mean, I assume he lives here. Yeah, we're in his house. I feel like it's really like imperialistic of us to go into someone's house and just say, Yeah, you could just cut it out. You're like it's Columbus psychology. for this fortress. Yeah, I know. Oh, I found the coolest fortress. <laughs> yeah, it's never been no, discovered it's before. No one's ever seen this fortress before when I found it. Yeah. Are there any other gnomes here? <laughs> what? I'm a gnome. A gnome. We're gnomes. We're gnomes. You don't know what a gnome is? And we're supposed to be afraid of you? That's, that's true. It is relatively common knowledge. What do you know? I care not for lesser beings. Well, what kind of being are you, Mr. High and Mighty? Uh, uh, could you? I mean, not maybe. Uh, not, not, no. not, not to quibble with, with semantics, but you wanted us to leave. Yes. Which either means that we're not lesser beings because you cared whether we came or not or stayed. And if we're not lesser beings, we are gnomes, so you should care about that. If you don't care about lesser beings, then you wouldn't have cared whether we stayed or not. I don't stay. care about the names and taxonomy of lesser beings. They're all lesser than my perfection. That's fair. What's so I mean, perfect about uh, you? As, you as just look like a guy with eczema. I'm, I'm, I have... Eczema? The sca- they are scales? They are serpentine scales? Uh, yeah. Gifted to me by Dendar the Night Serpent. Ooh, what's cool name? For my loyal service. I need a name like that. So you're saying there's actually a serpent that's above you. I uh Yeah, yeah. Is, isn't he more perfect than you? Yes. So then you're not perfect. Well I'm perfect. I'm as perfect as a human can get. I uh kind of open up my robe a little bit and flex my muscles and the facts. Have you seen have you seen this kind of perfection? You don't have any scales though. No, don't I? Your tongue isn't forked. I mean, he, like, he plays uh, out a forked tongue. He can just get dirty and get himself a case of psoriasis. It's, like, it's not like it's that no, they're, hard. No, they're scales! They're... Uh, look! And he kind of, like, rolls up his sleeve. And he kind of is like, you guys, look! I think my mom had a creep. Can I touch that. some yeah. of them? <sighs> I can make you some kind of apology. No, they're scales! You should hurry up. Time, they... is, time is running out for the proper cure. Are they itchy? <laughs> No, I, I have yeah, a, I have a bomb pr- for that. They Maybe. protect me from the blades of mortals. I mean, do they? Have you tested this? Like, yeah. Yeah. are they everywhere or just on your arms? They're on my legs. So they don't even protect like the squishiest parts that like need protecting. Can what we stab them to see? What about really on your butt? You? Do you have them on your butt? Because if I had scales on my butt, I would slide down everything. I don't. I don't have scales on my butt. Do you have scales on like your tummy and chest area? Oh, because then I would slide on my tummy. What do you mean by some? Like, do you just have random scattered patches of whatever that is? And you're growing? trying to keep it to this like, yeah. skin condition? That's <laughs> <laughs> like where a normal person might have chest hair. He just has like a, a couple of little scales. Some, some scales. Okay. But his skin like, looks tougher than normal, to be fair. In right, his but defense. But does it look like he's like, does it look like getting stabbed in the stomach wouldn't kill him? I mean, it might be harder I mean, I mean, I mean the stomach. I'm going to level with you. My awesome skin protects me from the blade. Yeah, he turns into a rock. Like I, 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 I know about protecting yourself from the blade of mortals with uh, your, you know, yeah. your skin. Yeah. And uh, I'm just not seeing it, man. Yeah. Like, All uh, right. Well, not impressed, my we, we dude. Can stab me. Okay. Go on, stab me. Okay. It's fine. Uh, is there a stabby thing? Uh, I have a stabby I have a sickle. I will walk up. I, I can hit it with the two short sharp edge of my shuttle. shuttle. I have two short swords. I walk right, over. Do it. Are you totally okay with this? Yes. Stab me. I stab him. All right. Uh, Megan attack roll. Oh, I have to, I have to actually do. I literally just stabbed him. 
Uh, plus whatever. Five is twenty. All right, do some damage. Stand by. I must look what there they are. One d six. You've got a million choices. D six was four plus. That's it. Oh. I only stabbed you with one, right? Yeah. It 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 he it does not penetrate his scaly hide. That's pretty impressive. Ha! Not bad. It wasn't a very hard. Stab. I mean, to be fair, yeah, you could have working stab like a tiny I little weak man. I literally just. Turned aside the blades of mortals. I did well, not. Well, bro, well blade, blade, blade of mortal. Praise blade, blade Zeta. of mortal. And honestly, if we're creating a taxonomy of like, he, like mortals you, you worth see him blade. like wandering around the room, throwing <laughs> like he's, he's pulled incense out from his pouch, like powdered incense. I don't like. I don't just throwing it around. I don't super want to raid on your parade, which is a lie. I do. Um, but like, if there's like a taxonomy of mortals whose blades are most deflectible. Gnomes are like peak level deflectability blades. Whoa, 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 whoa. Very few people have ever deflected my blade. You. Certain gnomes are peak deflectability <laughs> blade wise. Thank you. Uh, but also, I'm going to point out that that was still only a blade of mortal, not yeah. blades of mortal. Well, be that as it may. But it, but it was fairly Dendar, impressive. Dendar, the Night Serpent, rises above us all uh, and uh, lifts us up into his scaly embrace. So your best friend is like a spooky snake? So Huh? So is your best friend just like a spooky snake? Snakes aren't spooky, they're perfect. Mm, okay. But like Dendar seems like a spooky iteration of snake. Do you know what I mean? Like Night Serpent? I mean, you can be yes. perfectly spooky. Dendar, the Night Serpent? That's a spooky name. I think I think that's like not a controversy. Do you not know about Dendar, the Night Serpent? No, tell, tell me. Dendar, the oh, Night Serpent. Guys. Oh, well, here, I have some literature. Excellent! <laughs> and the lights swirl around and descend, and then in, in like, five or so minutes return, and he, he takes out this, like, like cuneiform tablet and slams it down on the remnants of the table. Yeah. Like, just, 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 just <laughs> the table. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, oops. Um, well, uh, <clears throat> Dendar, the night serpent, was spawned from the feverish dreams of the first intelligent creatures. Dendar Ooh. subsists and grows stronger by feeding on nightmares and fears that plague the folk of the world. Impressive. Yeah, it's it's been cool. creepy, but impressive. Yeah, yeah it's spooky. Spooky, definitely. I'm glad I don't have spooky. nightmares. Dendar! Maybe he's been eating them all. Maybe, maybe that's why we don't have nightmares ever. Maybe that's why Perrin's not here. <laughs> One day, when things are right, Dendar will swallow the sun at the end of the world and plunge the world into eternal darkness. Before. See? Mm. Uh, what, what makes things right? Yeah. yeah. When the world ends. I mean, that's fair. The world's already ending. I don't really care. So the world ending inevitably yeah. and Dendar's gonna eat the sun? Yes! Okay. Yeah, that's fine. The world's already gone and then he eats the sun? That's Seems like Dendar doesn't do like a lot. He just takes the light. He only affects people who are already inevitably going to die or asleep. What? Like he only affects people who are like immediately about to die. No! At the end of the world. Or are asleep. Oh no, no, Dendar can do whatever Dendar wants. Really? Because the list of things you said was the list of things you said was eat nightmares and also the sun. Well, Dendar granted me this transformation. I was <laughs> okay. once mortal like you. So Dendar gave you like a gross <laughs> disease. <laughs> what does he do with the nightmares he eats? I'm curious about that aspect of Dendar. Tell me more. I I don't. I want to, I want to know more. Um, he wants to know more. Uh, would you like to I'm, know more? I'm not certain what happens to. Like, is that a positive thing or a bad thing? No, it increases right? Dendar's strength. But like for the people, like, is that something that we would pray to him to have our nightmares eaten so we don't just we don't have them, or is this like it eats our nightmares and feeds on your psychic power and you die in the morning? No, no. Or does he like cultivate nightmares so we all have nightmares uh, that you eat them? Well, sometimes, yes. So he's like a farmer. Sometimes Dendar will cultivate a harvest of. Of nightmares and feast upon them, so growing in strength, bringing us closer to the inevitable ending of the world. Wait, so he is contributing to the speed at which the world ends? It's a natural cycle. Okay. When there's enough fear and terror in the world, Dendar will swallow the sun. The Some sun believe. So what do other people believe? Well, other people believe that Dendar <laughs> will one day. Other people believe. Other people believe that one day Dendar will devour the world. Ah, what do you believe? Yeah. Chat, share with us your thoughts <laughs> yeah, on what? Dendar. So, which, so there's multiple interpretations of the prophecies of Dendar, is what I'm hearing. Yes. 
Yes, and, and your personal belief is, is the sun or earth? I, I ascribe to the sun. If you look at the ancient texts, and now he starts pointing out on the cuneiform, uh, you see most of this is uh, re- revolves around night, but it defines it as the absence of light. That's fair. Now, I do understand, and I have studied a little bit of these ancient prophecies, there is a prophecy of the uh, perfect snake or something, I think, in, in, in the natural books, uh, swallowing the moon at the end of the world. Ah, no, that's... A, I thought that was a wolf. Myself. No, no, no. I mean, there's, there's, you know, different cultures have slightly different interpretations. Yes. Can I investigate the room while they're doing this? Yeah, you absolutely yeah. can. <laughs> but I've definitely heard of... Uh, of uh, Fourteen. Den, Dendrar? Swallowing the moon? Dendar! No, 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 no. There's... Uh, I, I mean, the interpretation... Maybe it was a mistranslation. In, in Dendar! That in that particular <laughs> text. Pokemon now. I'm pretty sure it's Dendar, and it's probably just a mis- misattribution. What? What? Mm. I mean, are there other prophecies other than this one? Can ancient he Kindle bite his own tail? tail? Well, that's. I mean, that's just the, the. No, this is this is just what we've recorded about Dendar. Can he put? Can he put his tail in his mouth and then roll down a hill? And he's is he separate from the from the world serpent that I've heard so much about? Yes. Or the turtle. What color is Dendar? What Dendar? Is he like a soft purple? He's like a dark, a dark green. Oh. How does if like night dark I green? I was like a lavender town. Girl if if on if like and Dendar, and like the world turtle, were swim serpent. the turtle, oh. and they they were too. they were they were fighting like and like yes, my dog. That the ser- that that's ter- the world serpent. Yes. No, that's a Jormander, the world serpent. How do oh. well? There's two of them, I think. No, yeah, Nidhogg's the one who sits under the tree and bites it and leaves poison into the roots. It's not important. Um, so how do they right. get along? How does yeah, how do they get along? Does he make people eat apples? Hold on, I have to go apologize to Dendar. Can we also come with you and talk to Dendar? <laughs> yes. I mean, no. Yes. No. Oh, come on, that sounds interesting. No. I would talk to Dendar. Let's talk to that sounds snake. interesting. Ravener, you can stay here. Ravener, you love animals. It's a big snake. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna snake. stay here. Wait. All right. No, I'm like the glass. Okay, fine. Okay, I'm gonna stay here. It's up to you guys. I mean, I want to get. Uh, I want other Dendar. I'm, all right. I'm interested in this literature. I'm gonna stay here and look around, I guess. The <laughs> acolyte of Dendar. I want to show Dendar, man. Was a freaking mine. Well, reptile mine. My name, by the way, is Ophidon. Oh, Ophidon. Nice to meet you. I don't know. Well, if you... that's my snake name. Snake name. Do you wanna? Do you want to drink Ophidon? Yes. How do you spell that, Ophidon? O P H I. I think you should. O-P-H-I-P-O-N. I'm going to give Ophidon one whole bottle of one of my delicious wines. Yeah, sure. You should mine. drink the Whatever whole thing. It's delicious. Very well. Uh, Ophidon, I don't know if you caught my name, but just just for completeness' sake, my name is Barnabas, Barnabas Annabelle, Annabelle Goodfellow, Goodf- Hawthorne, Merriweather Junior. Of the Mead Children. Uh, well, he's <laughs> trying to say it along with you. Yes. Of the South Market <laughs> Merryweathers, <laughs> also known as Watermead's Children. Just sort of saying words at uh, the same some, time people, as some people do know that my two colleague Bags, or a friend of Gollum's, protector of the configuration of soul, uh, Fisher of Men, and Shadow's Loom. Shadow's Loom doesn't, still doesn't sound like a name to me. It's a title more, I think. It doesn't like that. It just sounds like a sentence. Well, I mean, I think it's a trans. That's a, that's and a literal as, translation. As you though. guys are saying this, you step into a massive snake chamber. Uh, by Wait, I mean, well, that is a snake chamber. <laughs> <laughs> you can explain. So <laughs> you step, you step, uh, you step into a a um, a massive room uh, that is of carved stone. Uh, it may, might once have fulfilled like an armory or some kind of function in the the dwarven fortress, but. Oh, now we're replaying Dwarven Fortress now. That's why there are so many dead dwarves. The uh, air here is is heavy with the the scent of burning uh, coal, uh, and there what? is a, a burning slightly coal? A coal. sweet coal. coal, and a slightly sweet stench is hangs in the air. It is warmer in here, uh, where it's been winter outside. When you step into this room, there is uh, turn off the a, a <laughs> damp heat that kind of clings to your skin. Uh-huh. No wonder you got psoriasis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at, at the center of the room is a massive, like, uh, uh, set in the ground hearth that is full of, of the coals that are burning and why no. it's so warm in here. No. Uh, at the back of the room oh, is a gigantic know, statue that is, that is the torso of a man rising up out of the ground, but it becomes the head of a snake. 
That's weird. Is that you is Dendar it? just a statue? No, this is an altar to Dendar. I thought you said Dendar was a snake. Yes. Yeah, well, that's not a snake. Well, that's we had to work person. with what we had to make it into an altar of Dendar. That's fair. But it doesn't seem very perfect. Does he doesn't even take the arms off. That's probably why he gave you psoriasis. This wasn't the perfect in statue of him. I, I feel like if I'm making a human statue into a snake statue, my first move is losing the arms. That's fair. Or does Dendar have arms? I mean, Dendar could have arms, if Dendar wanted. Well, yes, but... But does Dendar have does arms? does Dendar have arms? <laughs> no. Alright, as like a gesture of goodwill, I blast the Look. arms off the statue. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'll pull, I mean, you can do that. I'll pull out a business card from one of my stonemason friends back in Winter's Haven. If you need anyone to help with that, uh, look up. But you don't think it looks cool this way? I think it would be better if it's... Well, the arms are raised up and, and the, I mean, I have... the curve... Well, do you, I, it took a long time to turn that hammer into a dagger. No, it's very cool. I'm just asking if it's accurate. Yeah, it just feels like it's like, you know, out of... Like, it's not I mean, quite... I feel like there's some sort of snakish god that you could worship that the statue would fit It's better. like, you know, when you go to, like, a modern art museum and they just have, like, like, a, like, they just have, like, like a gogan, like, right at the entrance, and it's like, well, sure, this is great, but, like, why? Yeah. I've never been to a museum. <laughs> You've got to get out more. more. I know some really... I pull out a business card for a museum in Winter Haven. <laughs> <Very nice. laughs> There's another museum in Winter. Of course, there is. Well, <laughs> is that the oh, no, there's the lighthouse. There's the lighthouse. The lighthouse is a museum. Yeah. You're absolutely right. What's a light house? Crocus's car or whatever. What's his name? Um, Crashes? Cassis? Crashes. Crashes, I think, is his name. Uh, That's not right. Better than Crocus. Better than Crocus. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, um... I was and Tobias. And Tobias, yes. I mean, I'm just Crazy saying, like, I feel like if, if you wanted to worship the statue, you could worship, like, a, like a Naga or something. Uh, or a YT, YT, Yanti, whatever. Yeah, yes! Or even yes. the tribe of Yig. Yeah, you could worship one of those, not, but that, and that would be very accurate to this. Or a Haggai. I feel like if I were a god and a snake and someone just took a statue and made it look like some other god and worshipped it and called it me, I wouldn't. I'd probably give them surprise. Actually, if I was a snake god, yeah, exactly so. If he I was, was like incredibly cheap. If I was a snake god and I just saw like, oh, you put a snake head on a dude body without even taking the arms off, I would be like pretty I leery about your commitment to the whole thing. Considered that, huh? Do you want to, do you want some help? Yes. I blast the arms off. You blast the arm. It takes a while. Because there's, like, stone. I will shovel the rubble. But you blast the arms off. Into a pile. He shovels the rubble. And then, um, I'll do a couple extra blasts to, like, like, of, like, focused, concentrated energy to, like, uh-huh. heat up the rock yeah, to, like, to, like smooth, smooth it out. The, yeah. And you, 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 uh, give me, man, uh, let's Can call we... that charisma. Yeah, because that's my spell. Yeah, my yeah, spell. yeah. And, uh, well, I, I, when he's done with that, I'll use press dissertation to clean uh, up any right. bar marks and make or it 19, all less for sure. So you spend the, the you spend the better part of a few hours like laser sculpting this. You you smooth out the torso too, so it looks less like a human torso and more like just a, a snake. Like by the time you guys are done, it's like this more less vaguely and more like specifically serpentine torso rising up out of the ground, uh, and it's got like the flared hood of a snake where where the shoulders once were, and like this looks radical. Yeah, isn't that better, Ophatron? But that's the... That was so cool. Aren't you glad that we didn't leave? I'm so, you so glad to leave. you did yeah. I ask everyone to leave well, my domain. I mean, who, can... wait, is this your domain or is yes. this Dendar's domain? Well, it's Dendar's domain, but I am the acolyte of Dendar. I, I speak for Dendar. I have a... Here. Are you the only acolyte of Dendar? Yes. Okay. How many... How Can we talk to Dendar yet? Uh, yes. What do you want to talk to him? What do you want to talk to him? Because it sounds awesome! How about we just get free reign over uh, the whole key? Hello, no, Dendar! How no, are no, you? No, no, no! If we want to speak to Dendar, we, we, we have to do a ceremony. Oh. There's a whole... There's a whole... Uh, I am so glad I'm not there because this probably involves actually. taking your pants off. Uh, uh, will this give us psoriasis? I don't think so. It's actual scales! For, uh, will this give us actual <laughs> scales? <laughs> Only if you ask Dendar's blessing. Right, to be fair, if I had two ways of defeating the blaze of Bortles... I mean, yeah. I mean, that would be pretty rad. That would be pretty good. <laughs> that wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Uh, yeah, I've heard worse. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. Um, What's Ravener doing? <laughs> yes, meanwhile, Ravener... <laughs> Several hours ago. <laughs> yeah, so what are you doing? 
Is your Is Mary a bronze of black, black, black Actually, uh, give me an animal handling check. Right when I was searching the key. Oh no, this is something with Gary, isn't it? Yep. Something uh, horrible is going to happen with Gary. Okay, now we're... So I don't know you, what else I would add to what, that. What so do you want to teach Gary how to do, and, and or Garbanzo, or both of them? Um, I am teaching uh, Gary to come when called. All right. Because that seems like a, a deficiency in he does Gary's that. Okay, good. Everywhere. And I am teaching oh, Garbanzo oh, uh, to <gasps> let... Just horrible. What's that? Oh, 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 you have God. to say that louder. So that no, no, I said, now there's dog <laughs> semen everywhere. <laughs> Gary. Uh, I'm like, Gary. And then Gary's all like, ah. And then it's awesome. Uh, I'm like, I can't wait to show uh, the guys this trip. Uh, we <laughs> all we just right. skip the whole Red Let's Rocket phase. Uh, you got right to We are bend. stuck in Come sand. In. <laughs> Let's... Let's move on. Moving along. And I have, I, have, uh, I have taught Garbanzo uh, to let me sit on his uh, shoulders, because we're, we're basically about the same size. No, you're not. <laughs> yes, we are. If Garbanzo's that big, and you're four feet tall. Well, Garbanzo's not quite as small as the puppet of Garbanzo. Is Garbanzo four feet tall? Three and a half feet tall? Hold on. Four feet. Garbanzo. Um, at any rate... You, you, He's two feet tall. Uh, you do yeah. find so you do find a couple of uh, so here's here's what you find searching Very the small. searching the fortress above, uh, because their their thing was kind of down below. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm and I am uh, searching. You find uh, you find a room where uh, there is a uh, a big uh, massive cube, a gelatinous cube. A gelatinous cube. Yes, but it cannot fit through the doorway. But okay. But, Huh. Cubes can squeeze to fit through smaller. They space. can, but this one has like a, a. It's too fat. <laughs> yes, this one is. This one has grown like there are bones floating inside of it. Like I leave that alone. <laughs> it looks. It looks fat and happy. After <laughs> I throw some rocks into it, just to make them go boop. And yep. And this makes... is like a bigger than normal gelatinous cube. It's it, where most of them are large. This, this is huge. kind of huge. All right, so what else did I find? And it's less cube gelatinous. and more like rounded. It's like it's a gelatinous room. It's a room full of jelly. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I slowly back back out of that room and I go to check other stuff because that's just kind of weird even for me. You open another door and uh, inside the, that room is a hag who howls and cackles madly when you open the door. There's your woman. You've been waiting for her this entire time. <laughs> Hi! How are you? She does not say anything. But Excellent. Close. I close the door. <laughs> um, wow. It's like you finally get your chance to just throw it away. And you find a chest. I open the chest. Uh, inside are um, inside are a bunch of odd stones that have runes carved into them in dwarven. Oh, are they, are they rune stones? Good, so Good news. Good uh, news. I can read the letters. You can? Yes, because dwarven script and gnomish script ah. are the same alphabet. You read the letters. Oh. You don't know what the words mean. But nope. You read the letters. But I can sound them out. Ah. Okay. I would. Uh, how many? There are four stones. Uh, no, there are like twelve stones. I was just checking if there were four because you know. Then I would know that one is fire and one is air. And one. Oh no, there's okay. like twelve of them. There's twelve. There's twelve stones in the chest. Yeah, and they're like carved, like, like imagine a gold brick, right? Mm -hmm. But it's a, it's a slab of marble instead and has runes on it. And so they're so have. they're probably pretty heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I should. I think I'm just gonna leave them there for right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm ready for death. <laughs> all right, uh, and that's it. That's okay. all I found yeah. up there. Yeah, it, right. it, it, most sure? of it. Most of it has been kind of a. a hey, Revener! Can I go talk to the to yes. the lady in the room again? Yeah, you can. <laughs> okay, I open Here's the door back up to the uh, to the lady in the room. Did work up his courage. He's not uh, used to getting flushes. And I once again say hello. He stops cackling. And I'm like, uh, do you know anything about the gelatinous cube in the hallway next door to us? And perhaps would you like some wine? As you, you, you so you spend. Uh, go ahead and make an, in, uh, an intelligence saving throw. Stand by. Do I have benefit on that? No. I, that seems. I do. Character. I do. Ha ha ha! No, I'm cunning. 
And it's like, that is no, that's not what Gnome Cunning does. That is exactly what Gnome Cunning does. Oh, you does. have advantage, not a bonus. Yeah, uh, 12. All right. Oh, uh, wait, plus. Oh, see, this. A oh, one, a 13. All right, so it takes you about an hour or so of conversation uh, before you realize that this is an illusion. Sweet. Nah, and so she cool. hasn't said anything. She's just sort of like followed along with what you were doing. <laughs> doing the entire time. Yeah. It's the perfect companion for me. <laughs> so I can keep talking to her and she doesn't get annoyed. Exactly. <laughs> this is excellent. I am in heaven. <laughs> um, I decide to walk past her. <laughs> All right, you do. Uh, in this room, uh, in this room, it looks like this is where the dwarves made their barracks. But it has been cleared out except for one bed. Uh-huh. Um, and there is a, a foot locker at the, the foot of the bed. Can I open the foot locker? You can. I open the foot locker, please. There's uh, three sets of robes that all look to be about the size uh, and shape of the of Ophidon. His okay. robes, like uh-huh. it's his change of clothes, basically. You also. Three rounds. Ten millimeter ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And a Glock knife. And a Glock. Uh, you also find uh, you find like a <clears throat> a uh, book that is a. Uh, an illustrated guide to snakes of the Sword Coast Northwest. Ooh, awesome! Very I'm gonna specific. totally read that. <laughs> Three, did you guys? Are I am taking that so I can read it. Snake book. Um, this book gives you a. Like that's what a snake is. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, I know. This book How gives weird. you a plus, a plus one on uh, any nature checks that you need to make. Woo-hoo! If it involves snakes, you have advantage. Ooh, yes, plus one on nature checks. <laughs> yeah, it's so good to help me as a gnome. Yeah, and uh, you also uh, you also find a um, you find a picture. Mm, okay. Uh, it is a, a portrait of Ophidon, but uh, he has kind of like crossed out his legs and drawn like a crude snake tail. <laughs> No. Uh, he tries. But he's, he doesn't have much artistic talent. Little buddy. He, does, he does not have much artistic talent. Ophidon's such a dork as well. Um, I would like. I am going to take one of the robes and put it on. All right. And I stand on top of the bed. Rather large. And I stand on top of the bed uh-huh. and I start saying, "Wooga wooga, I am a snake guardian." Wooga 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 wooga. While uh, Garbanzo and um. And uh, Gary, uh, watch me. Gary is distressed by you doing that, and um, <laughs> starts starts like barking and then uh, jumping like like he freaks out and doesn't understand what's happening. And then the next thing you know, he is he has uh, uh, crashed into the the bed and pulled the sheets off, uh-huh. uh, and tangled up with the sheet wrapped around his head so he can't see where he's going. Starts running into the hallway. Uh, barking uh, with with terror as he tries to escape. You hear another crash. Uh, fine. I uh, Garbanzo and I go after Gary after I slip myself out of the stupid rope. All right. <laughs> and we go into the other room. You, you, Gary. This is the scene come. that comes that, Gary, that, that, come. that you meet as you as you return to, to <laughs> the, the top side to get Ravener. Uh, you see a goat, a ghost, oh, or a sheet. Yes. Uh, yeah. He said you should get Ravener. To talk to Dendar. Okay. I was just gonna yell. Oh, okay. Never mind. We you don't up. have to go up. No, we no, no. Gary will come to you. Okay. Uh, because there is the, the form of a, a a sheet floats down the stairs, and Ophidon is like, ah, what's that? Uh, before you realize it's it's Gary in a sheet. I don't shoot it. Guys, guys, guys! That's Gary. I might <laughs> shoot that. Uh, he comes. He comes like. Bolting down the stairs and barks and. What did you find, Ravener? Um. So there is a uh, giant gelatinous, and by giant, I actually mean like giant, even for you. Um. I'm like a Goliath, not a thing, giant. But you're big. With giant relative to you. Yeah, it's it's big for even you. Um. And ah I found, yes, I that's found, Hubert. Hubert, the giant gelatinous cube. Is that like cube. your pet? No, he is a loyal guardian of this fortress. He did a bad job. He oh, sucks he's... up everything. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I assume he's guarding you from the other. I'm just surprised his name isn't Hoover. And then, 
Then I found a, uh, a chest with uh, a whole bunch of rune stones in them, which means those are stones with runes on them. You don't say. <laughs> and there is a uh, a woman in a closet, and you should probably That's go talk to That's my room! You didn't go in there, did you? Oh, uh, uh, Gary ran in there, and oh, uh, yes, no. I, I, yeah, sorry. Um, she's a very good conversationalist. Anyway, uh, this Daedric thing. Yeah, what about Dendar? Dendar! Dum Dumdar, yes. Dendar! Dendar. Dengar. Dengar. We shall... Uh, excellent. Yes. Let, and he kind of like goes... Let us hunt this bounty. Grabs some... Oh, we're not hunting Dendar. <clears throat> Dengar is a Star Wars reference. Uh, so he grabs, he grabs a, a, a bowl full of uh, various Dengar. herbs and starts <laughs> grinding them into a, a, a uh, fine mm. poultice. Mm. And then tosses that for your skin? onto the. Uh, well, I, no. That's and then what does he toss that onto? He tosses that onto the the uh, coals that are in the center of the room, and a sickly sweet smoke fills the air. Oh, how nice! Oh, Dendar, Night Serpent, and Lord of Nightmares. Wait, you guys brought him back up here to call Dendar? No, no you, you came, you down, came to us. down there. Oh, when you were balls. following Gary. <laughs> Speak to us. Your loyal follower and servant and guests. Log in as guests. <laughs> uh, and, and sort of the room above you, like the, the, the smoke kind of wafts to the, the ceiling and covers it, and, and slowly but surely the smoke fades into darkness. It is the night sky, and there are stars, but one by one they each wink out. This seems like it's a... Uh... Your your wheelhouse over here. Yeah, this is my kind of weirdness. Um, who would speak to Dendar? Ah, ah. my name is Bonimus. Good back. The, the voice <laughs> is coming from Ophidon. Like he's, but but his eyes are all like rolled back in his head and. Um, Hawthorne Merriweather Jr. of the South Market Merriweather is also known as Water Meets Children, sometimes known as Bags, friend to Golems. Protector of the configuration of souls, fisher of men, shadows loom. Hey, that last part, not. It's just that last part. All right, just just Dendar, <laughs> let's start with all of this. Do you think shadows loom is like a name? Shadows loom. It is a greeting among necromancers. Yeah, it's not like a name, right? What? You really shouldn't put that part as your name. It's kind of advertising that you're kind of into. It's dead, almost, it dead just almost sounds like if someone was like. Many of my servants are necromancers. In that case, we should totally be all about what? shadows looming. Why are you? Why are you serving necromancers? Aren't you just like a snake? Yes. So can you? I mean, can you just like sketch out the connective tissue there? I mean, I'm a. I studied with necromancers. What? He he has a friend that says we met my friend. No, no. That. I'm saying why is in, why does the snake god's like friends become necromancers? I mean, oh. he said many of them. He didn't say all. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> enough to raise questions. They many seek, of my friends became different. You they, went to mage college. They yeah. seek power in the dark places of the world. I am the dark places of the world. I am Dendar, the night serpent. Right. Yeah, we've, <laughs> we've heard. Hey, since we're um, speaking with you, can we settle a bit of a <laughs> theological debate? <laughs> At the end of the world, are you going to swallow the sun, the earth, the moon? Yes. Which? The trifecta? Oh. Uh, Are you devoured by darkness? Okay. If the wait, world well, turtle and Dendar got into a battle, don't talk about Dendar like he's not here. These questions are insulting. Uh, I have one more though. <laughs> if that's okay. Do you want to see a magic trick? No, we'll get to that later. <laughs> I'll allow it. Um. Are you actively working to bring about the end of the world, or are you just sort of like around <coughs> for it? That's an interesting question. Oh, there you go. I bet you, the answer is interesting too. Are you, are you actively working towards the? <clears throat> are you actively working towards the inevitable rebirth of magic that will plunge the world into a thousand years of warfare? 
Uh, no. Sure. I didn't. Know and yet, your actions dead. will bring it back. Right. Sure. Cool. But, but magic. But that's not the. No, not that magic. It's just like when we brought sexy back, and he was still here the whole time, but it came back. Right there. Right there, right there, right there. No. Here's the thing. That's not. I understand what you're saying, and I get like the conceptual framework you're working with, but that's not really the answer to my question, right? Like, so if you, had, so your the answer we gave you was no. Like maybe what we're doing is accidentally bringing about some sort of cataclysm, but we're not trying to. Ah, there you are. I am existing. I do what I do to exist. <clears throat> and does that contribute to the progress of a cataclysm, some sort of cataclysm? The two are linked. This is very cos- cosmic. Yeah, well, I've been hanging out with Jeffrey a lot. Um, ah, yes. Do you know Jeffrey? No, not personally. But you know of Jeffrey. <clears throat> I do. How do you, you know, know what I mean Jeffrey? when I say Jeffrey? Yes. Well, okay. I can see into your mind. Well, that's I'm the alarming. night serpent. <laughs> I, am, I am born of nightmare and darkness. Right, but I am awake. You? Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Uh, I'm thinking of chicken. Pinch animals. self. I cast pinch self. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead and make an intelligence. Uh, Save. Uh, like <clears throat> Twelve. You you pinch yourself and start awake. Uh, you're laying on the ground <clears throat> in the in the uh, hallway where the snake statue is. Everyone else is dozing around you. Oh, beans! I had more questions for Dendar! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 to you guys, from your point of view, it looks like it looks like Alamar has gone to sleep. He ah. pinches himself and like, imme- just like, donk. It makes sense. It would be, it would make more sense if we were I am so glad, because he always asks all these questions, and we spend like, all day long. Uh, Pinch! <laughs> <laughs> donk! <laughs> Now that I've got you alone, I've got a few questions about deep magical secrets. I know you left me with Ravener. (laughs) Ravener wakes up. Hey, dude! Wake up, Bags. We were totally Wake up, Bags. Wake up, Bags. First first off, Shadows Lou, my friend. Shadows Lou. Yes. So, Master (laughs) Sedash, I fail my check (laughs) and stay asleep. So I was reading in some of Master uh, Sithara's books about uh, the, the, the Great Serpent. I assume that's you. I am a great serpent. Oh, there are three. three. Uh, the the <clears throat> Tormentor and the World Serpent being the other two. Yes. How do you guys get along? Why do you want to know? I just want to make sure you're not going to have kids with them. I'm just curious. That's a very personal question. I apologize if I I'm don't cunting. know that I'm ready to have children. <laughs> I keep trying to fall back asleep. Okay, uh, make an intelligence check. Weird. <laughs> yeah. It is, uh, actually, you know what? Let's let's call that one uh, wisdom. Oh, wisdom worse. Uh, seven. Uh, actually, you fail it, so you fall back asleep. <laughs> Great. I pop up back in the Dendar place. Uh-huh. Oh, hi. <laughs> I want to go back to sleep. Fail a wisdom save. Seven. What? Plus your my wisdom is... Are you an uh, advantage on this? Yeah, you no. do have advantage, advantage on this. Advantage. Well, that, I, I have it... Oh, one second. I have advantage on... Uh, wisdom, uh, wisdom, wisdom and intelligence. intelligence. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Oh, oh, good good job. You have to take the highest. Yeah. So seven plus so your... Plus seven plus ten. Plus three uh, ten. Yeah. Yeah, you ten. You yeah. are not quite sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not gonna go back. That was weird. I'm not going back there. You you could try you could try one more time. <laughs> like right now. Uh, are you sure? Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. <clears throat> I I cannot fall asleep. Yeah. Well, no, you, <laughs> oh yeah, you got it. You guys are uh, you you have fallen back into the dream world. So Dendar. The nightmare realm. Yes. Oh, oh, right. There's um. What? There's some kind of like. Do we know what like priceless thing they were looking for in here from the book? Oh, there was some sort of uh, artifact in here. Yes. What Wait. is it? Do the Emerald Serpent dudes follow you? Yeah, the Emerald Serpent? Aren't they the Emerald Eye? Well, they like summon Emerald Serpents, though. Yeah, he did do that, but I think <clears> that's just a coincidence. Ah! <laughs> you fight against them? 
Uh, I, mean, I mean, mostly just everyone. Mostly they just break themselves on us. Oh. Yeah, I mean, and honestly, it's like, we kind of fight whatever. <laughs> We're just kind of there, and, they, and then they destroy themselves. Yes, they are not mine. Oh, well, that's good to know. <laughs> they right, are I'm imbeciles. glad we haven't broken any of your toys. They are imbeciles who know not what they grasp well, at. Okay, but do you know what the artifact they want is? Yes. Um, what is it? <clears throat> I cannot tell you. Uh, why not? I am forbidden to speak of such things. Okay. I can't even what, if, it. what? He's forbidden to say I can't even trick But wait, what about this? What if you just, like, kind of talk around it? <laughs> like, you're just like, you know, it's the obviously an artifact <clears throat> in the room four doors down on your left! I... I would never be so obvious to the other gods. Is it, is it Hubert? I definitely would never... I, I wouldn't talk around it. If you wanted to play in such games, you, you should try a fool. Like, no offense, Ophidon, but he means well. Are those really scales? Yes. Huh. Could you give me scales? You, if you are willing to perform a rite, yes. What sort of rite? Well, you must, <coughs> you must gather, uh, you must gather the blood of a fallen Yuan Ti. Like, am I allowed to kill the Yuan Ti? Well, if you wish. Preferably not one of mine. I don't just have to, like, but find one. But if you one. kill them, they probably deserved it. I don't just have to, like, find one laying around on the ground. Uh, that's, that's what Ophidon did. Well, I figured that. That's, that makes a lot of sense. checks out with his whole yeah. deal. Um, I, okay, here's, <clears throat> here's my proposal. Dark power. So, there's an artifact, right? Yes. Can we have it? You'd have to take that up with some wasn't me. I don't care what happens to it. I'm simply forbidden of speaking it. Um, of it. Is there any reason it's hard to get? Yes. I can't say more than that. Uh, is, can you do anything useful? I mean, not in general. I mean, in don't this very particular context. God, I know what dreams. you mean. I'm not so vain as to be insulted by accidental slights against oh, me. Also, yeah, you're in Ophidon's body, so Very. come on. I mean, he's in I'm, I'm, we're sleeping here. We're in his mind realm, actually. Yes, yeah, I'm but, merely speaking through him so that my true form doesn't shred what remains for, of your sanity. Go, reasons aside, yes. you look like Ophidon, who is a doofus. Yes. And so I've sort of already internalized my, like, relationship to this body. So, like... That's Reasonably fair. I, as I, I'm not holding you responsible for that. Am I? I'm glad this is <clears throat> you trained animals for ten minutes. You, you quit your sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, he says, if you want more about this, you cannot speak to me. Ophidon may be able to help you if he can help anyone. Uh, and then, yes. And then uh, he. You feel the presence withdraw, and you're, you all I'll kind of consider wake. that ritual. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, How was it? Underwhelming, to be totally honest. Oh, I thought it was great. It was like every time I asked a question, it was like, "Okay, talking about that." Uh, you can um, ask the questions I asked. I got a lot of good answers out of him. Whatever you do, well, don't like, point out the mustache on, that I drew on his face. I won't see how long it takes him to notice. On my face? Shh. I, yeah, I mean, I like rub my face. <laughs> <laughs> I was bored. You guys um, were I go up to, hours. I go to Ophidon and I go, all right, Ophidon, we talked to your god. He told us two quick things. One, that there's a really fancy artifact in here. And two, that you got to help us find it. Oh, yes. Ha, it's, it's the heart of the serpent. Great. Well, you have to help us get it. I, that's easy. And he, he kind of like holds out an amulet and holds it up to the, the statue. And he, he starts encanting a few words. In parcel tongue, um, and uh, a panel on the dear on J.K. The... Rowling, please don't sue us. <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed to say parcel tongue. A, a panel on the the like statue kind of rolls out of the way, and oh. you hear like a rumbling, and this this massive emerald falls out. Was that was that panel already there? Yes. Okay. You would to told us about that before we like renovated the statue. You whatever, man. Like, don't shoot well, the magical fork. I made it myself. You made the panel. To hide the serpent. You were able no, to make that this, whole magical wait, panel so, but not take the arms off the statue? I thought they were cool. 
Right, we've established that it was Like it was the Snake Man. Snake Man's pretty cool. In my head, he has like a, a tail, but he has arms and like a snake head. That's outside just yeah. a wand tee. He has hey, a picture that, that he like, scratched the legs the off of and drew what? a snake head. Oh, uh, the one that get you the psoriasis. Hey, here. Wait, yeah, are there more? No, there was only the one. Uh, well, um, good job with that. I grabbed that emerald. <laughs> All right, you pick up the emerald. Uh, this thing is powerful. Powerful. It thrums with with like eldritch power when you hold it in your hand. I like try to use it to like focus an eldritch bolt, like <clears throat> some just like stuff over there. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm in a different room. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, oh, well, let's walk for a second. Go ahead and roll uh, ten d ten. That's how much damage you do to the wall. Okay. Give me two d ten. Jeez. I'm sorry. Jeez. He said ten d ten. I know. I have to roll them. Several times. No. That's a D8. That's a D8. It's the other white one. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, all look, they all look the same. They do. Okay, to true. Me. Plus 18. Plus 17. Is 54. You melt a hole in the wall. Is it an expeditious hole as far as exiting the cavern? Uh, no, it doesn't quite go all the way through. Okay. This thing is the bomb diggity! Yeah, but we can't just carry that around with us everywhere. It's heavy. So you don't have to carry it. I'll carry it. People will try and take that. That's why I hid it. It's a good People can try and take it. I'll burn holes in them too! Up until six months ago, there was a thriving tribe of Yuan Ti here. They killed themselves fighting over who should possess that. What are Yuan Ti? They're like snake people. Behind the statue. Oh, like this before we fixed it. Oh, well, not that. they were though. Well, they were pure bloods, true bloods. Um, yeah, they were the ones that looked like a normal person. Were they just normal people? But they had snake eyes. Oh, that's fair. Look, there's snake people. Isn't that a the million <laughs> people? Yeah. Like just a million. Like, the whole population of the tiny, dead. mostly useless town that we live in could whoa, try to take whoa, this. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. Well, those are my those are my friends and people you tell, but they're about. not like, you know, exceptional. I mean um, the Wizard College. Wizard College. <laughs> Anyways, that whole assortment of Goombas and Jamok could come after this thing. And I could burn holes in all of them. You see how you did that wall? It's a wall! Yes. Well, I just w wanted to let you know that people will try to take that thing. That's why I hid it. That was the task that was entrusted to me by Dendar yeah, the Night well, Serpent. Dendar changed his mind and was like, you know, Almar, that guy should have this emerald. That's why uh, I gave it to you. Yeah, uh, Almar, I can ask people for a second. Yes. Can we, like, no, like, so, um, I just want to point out that, um, there was that whole thing that Dendar was saying. Oh, well, he unleashing the magic in the world? Yes. And bringing on a thousand years of chaos and war and ending the world. I think that thing's a lot of magic. It seems like that's gonna happen no matter what. I mean, that's... And this seems like a really fun way to, like, get us there. I mean, like, uh, we're gonna get there. I don't know that that's an inevitability, but... It seems like it's inevitable. It seems like uh, doing the thing that the Elder God wanted us to do right after saying we were going to do that is maybe not the wisest thing. But, flip side... I mean, it's obvious he wants us to take this. And it's also obvious that I want us to take this. I mean, I'm not arguing with you. I'm just saying we should think about this because it's obvious that Dendar wants us to take this. So what's wrong with that? Well, he wants the world to end in a thousand years of darkness and torment so that he can... Oh, no, it will just devour and... We talked to Dendar. <laughs> we have like a pretty good grasp on what Dendar's going for. Oh, he said all of them, by the way. Yeah. Interesting. Did yes. you never ask? Well, no, he's always the one channeling him, I guess. Well, I mean, I speak to Dendar. Well, Dendar speaks to me in visions. Uh, but you can't speak directly. That makes sense. He said all Look, three. here's why we should take it. Ready, set, three reasons. One, so much fun. Two. Oh, I'm in that. Yeah. If something, like... <clears throat> We aren't the only people who are messing around with Eldritch forces beyond our ken. Which will bring me to number three in a second. But that means that other people are, and we need a way to make them not bring about the apocalypse. Boomba, we got it. Three, we already are like in friend friendship mode with an Eldritch God thing. 
which means we're going to be dealing with all sorts of crazy bananas nonsense. So we better have some crazy bananas nonsense of our own, like a super laser magnifier. I mean, we could just go back to work after our vacation and not mess with crazy banana mom. That sounds really boring. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where I was going and with that. And Jeffrey and Gosh, I, I sound Jeffrey, like a parent here. And Jeffrey and I are psychically linked. Are you? At least a little bit. Like still. Maybe, maybe we're friends. Maybe it's Jeffrey. Isn't that the strongest him. psychic link of all? You got me there. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's got not your friend. There. He told you that yesterday. Well, we're not psychically linked. Yeah, yes. Yeah. But me and Jeffrey are. And I think Jeffrey wants the emerald. No, Jeffrey's not in the world. People want to use Jeffrey to end the world. I think Jeffrey wants the emerald. The emerald is psychically linked. Jeffrey doesn't want the no, emerald. No, he's not. I, don't, I haven't, set, I haven't sensed any emerald. control. I, I checked them for that. Yeah, one. they check, check, check. Yeah, the check. only one that's controlled is Parent. Yeah. And he's not here. Yeah. So. Which means I should do whatever I want and take the emerald. <laughs> I mean, I agree it's obviously a trap, but this is Dendar's trap. He wants us to take it. I don't want it. You don't have to have it. I'll have it. I don't think anybody should have it. I think we should destroy it. Uh, I don't think we can destroy it. Uh, why are you taking it? Yes. Maybe. Okay. No. Come with you? Yes, absolutely. Fine. Damn it. Great! I'll go get my stuff. I don't need to be here anymore. It's He's true. gonna see that I was in his room. His robes are everywhere. And I already know the that. Room. The dog is wrapped up in the bed sheets. Room. Yeah. You told him about this. But I was wearing his robe. Well, He's like really awkward, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want it's to know weird that. Weird that you went to someone's room and just put on their clothes. <laughs> Did you like dance in it? Yes. Why did you tell oh, me no. that? Is there, there was all treasure Look at me, I'm the snake god uh, channeler. What? That's a good question. Um. Yes. And he comes back carrying two armfuls of cuneiform tablets. Is there more like good treasure in here? This is this is the the the. Uh, uh, Cultural. This is my transcription of of the All poems right. Put of in my bag. Dendar, the Night Serpent. <laughs> imagine, who, imagine you were someone who doesn't care about Dendar. That's I don't think I can do that. Okay, okay. Raven, are on check. I have I a question for you. Goes. The rune stones well, in the chest. Well, well, what are they? Hubert and what? Well, no. There's a whole chest full of rune stones. What are they we for? Can't kill Hubert. Those are. Why? I, those are weird bad. dwarf things. I don't He's know. Not both should we take some? We should take the room stuff. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, we um, should probably. I should let Hubert out. Uh. uh I don't want him to starve. I mean, will he attack us? Well, not if we leave. We could probably outrun him. I mean, we definitely can't run him. If we can't, I'll blast him. I've got ultimate blast capacity, baby. Hubert's real nice anyway. I agree with with Ophidonis. I'm just saying, if we try to run, it doesn't work. I, I think he was blocking a tunnel. There might be right. something right. at the other end. You guys, you guys can like blast away the the door with that, especially okay. with the emerald. It is no problem. Hubert does not try to attack you. It just kind of like starts patrolling the halls, picking up whatever detritus. It doesn't seem to want to leave the fortress. Uh, okay. You guys return to. Oh, we took all those stones. <clears throat> yes, you've got the stones. I, I, you can get some other uh, weird dwarven objects. Oh, that aren't. dudes. We're not telling Haramont of you. And you guys return to Haramont. And that's where we will leave off for today. We need to find Bye. Some fish tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> to join us next week, everyone, oh, as we to return to... Oh, not next week, actually. That's that's a good point. Wait, uh, next week, uh, we will not be playing D&D &D next week. Uh, we're going to take a, a, a break uh, because... Uh, we will be going to Gen Con. Uh, at least a, a good portion of the Bulls team will be, so, um, I, I don't know what the streaming team has got planned, but uh, I'm sure it'll be something. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll see you all in two weeks, uh, when, <clears throat> when we return to Fish Adventures and <laughs> making parents sit through reading journals. Yes! Yes! Oh, we got a lot of journals. We also got those tablets. We got tablets, we got rune we stones. Got rune uh, in the meantime, uh, we're, uh, Bulls is always streaming uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Uh, if you enjoyed this, tell your friends. Uh, tell them to come in and follow us on Twitch. Uh, the, the more people that watch us, the better. Word of mouth is the best advertising, after all. And um, we have a Twitter now. Don't we right? have a Twitter now, so you can go ahead and tweet at us or tweet using the hashtag NeverQuest. Oh, What's the Twitter called? Uh, the Twitter is at Never underscore Quest. Um, 
Well, thank you all for watching. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you in two weeks. Bye. 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 Thank you.